elf is, then there's no, then they have to get it customized. There's no. Because she's a half elf. Yeah. She can't just go into the store and buy studded leather. There is no armor in uh, the armor. Wow. Oh, why studded? Why would she buy studded? Why wouldn't I? She's wearing leather. <laughs> because she. <laughs> Welcome to leather talk. <laughs> That's not the way my guys play, man. It, that's because they're dumb. <laughs> His armor class could be one. You know what? I'm like, going gonna, I'm gonna to give you. I'm going to humor. I'm going to humor you, and uh, and and knock off fifty of your gold uh, uh, just to give you studded leather. How's that sound? That's fine. Four seven six seven armor class. There you go. Four well, five six seven. Four five six seven. Yeah. So the original sheet was wrong anyway. Yes. So, Mine's easy. Seven, 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 seven. Good question. Uh, since I no longer have uh, the anatomy damage, do I have any other special ability or no? Just no special. Uh, yes, you have battle shot. Oh my gosh, it's on your sheet. All right. You have no, you're not. You're not fourth level. Okay. You're not fourth level. Let me, uh, you're, uh, let me see here. Let me see here. Let me see here. I changed up your abilities. And then I do follow up questions. You have blind fighting. Uh, since I, yeah, I do have blind fighting. Uh, since I have a ring mail and it says shield, that shows my armor class at four. That's with dexterity shield. and shield. Yep. Okay, and then rear is seven, and no dex AC six. Yep. So by the way, um, notice that your fighter master, your big changeover was you went from non-specialized to specialized. That's a huge thing. See, that's why you're plus two, plus five. You're a specialized fighter now, and he's not specialized. That's the. Difference. If I have to, if I have to shoot with a the like with a crossbow, what's the plus to that? It's Look that... at the bottom under missile modifiers. And we... Missile modifiers. Yep. Okay. All right, I see that. There yep. we go. Absolutely. Um, who do I need to protect y'all? Because again, I, the first time I ever played, we left our wizard to go engage in fighting, and then they swarmed him. He's like, "You didn't give me enough time to cast spells or anything." So I'm just <laughs> a little, our a little help as my fighter. Our wizards have one spell, and uh, the shadow mage has one spell personal. <laughs> the love, the, the wonders of low level gaming. Jay, um, do I? I have any missile weapons. I just have the two short swords. Yes, because uh, you're you're a, a thief, and he didn't have the proficiency, so he did not take a okay. he did not take a missile at all. Yes. All right. Another question for you, Jay. Sure. Um, do do you, uh, mages in this campaign have cantrips? Do you use cantrips in this? I I, I despise cantrips. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> no, it's, it's, no, it's, it's your no. game. I, I'm just asking the question. <laughs> I know. I'm just being smart. I, I, okay. They, 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 they've been fighting me for 30 years on cantrips. I don't mind any personal, like, uh, you know, little thing, little uh, uh, spell effects you're doing, you know, to impress someone or like like that or whatever. But you know, I, the so if, I describe, if I describe a special effect, this for, for show doesn't actually do anything. Exactly. You know, exactly. Okay. My, my thing is, is that uh, Tim abused the hell of the present cantrip, drove me insane with it. Um, he, he would just present it wands out of nowhere, and I was like, "That's it." So we tried testing it. And, uh, good play, Tim. But that's a, that's a good thing. Just... <laughs> Thank you. 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 I'm looking at Landara's uh, sheet, I'm looking at my weapons, and I see I have a sling, that's cool. Um, under, um, on the character sheet, uh, where it says sling 20, and then there's a dash, and, and uh, I can't understand what that says. One if, second here, let me uh, pop that to the back here, uh, yeah, yeah, and let me put this I'm up. I'm assuming up. 20 sling bullets, but I don't know what. It probably is, it probably is. Why didn't that go? Or Jay, I could I could never explain my player character sheets to another party. <laughs> That's all right, man. You know, it's just I, for me, my one downfall is I make a lot of assumptions I probably shouldn't on things, you know. Well, that's why you and I are going to put together a primer oh. for your campaign for your special guests. All right. 
sling, yeah, you have 20. He's got the three back there. Uh, sling is 20 bullets. He has a ring of first strike. So you can automatically declare I win initiative once per day in melee combat. That's what that ring is. Okay, and that, that is the Lindara, her. She. That's an item she has, and she fights short sword, short sword as well. That's group initiative. You can declare. Group initiative. Yes, even with group initiative. You can, you can win initiative and everyone else can lose it. Yep. How does the moving and fighting go? Like, I got nine inches of movement. Do you, like, can you hold actions? Kind of just a little reference to that, I if guess. Win, if you win in it, you can, uh, so you can, once you move beyond 10, you can't, you can't do anything else besides movement. 10 feet. So once you move 22 okay. inches beyond that movement in 22, that's all your action is. Don't think of five, in the 5e realm um, okay. at all. Yeah, trust and, me, that'll come quickly once I'm, I'll call out and goes, and it, that'll come real fast. Everything um, is, there's no ready because everything is simultaneous. Yeah. It's just which group goes first during the simultaneous actions. Yeah. But you can delay, and that means you go after everything else has happened. And typically, spellcasters do that so that they don't get damaged while they're casting a spell, I guess. Is that right, Jay? Yeah, one of That's the one of Jay's sneaky tactics. Yeah, one of the drawbacks of this system is uh, spell interruption is really difficult to do. It just is, uh, but that's just my guys. Uh, it, it, we try and avoid effects that bog down gameplay. So we, uh, you know, um, and that's one of the things is that an individual initiative would increase. Yeah, you love the hot mic pack. I mean, just yeah, individual initiative would uh, increase our gameplay by triple. It just, it just especially with slow like, it down. Yeah, it does, and so um, especially with managers, managers the. the Plus, it's very vital to win those initiatives. So. <laughs> Where do I find my base hit? Um, Fatco, like... um, oh, Fatco is one of the things I removed off the sheet because I'm okay. Uh, but uh, so I'll call it out. I try and make uniform armor classes in these kind. So if I uh, at the beginning I go this, there are all armor class eight. Fighters need twelves. Right. Clerks need twelves. Thieves and mag. Thieves need thirteens. Magic need thirteens. Done. Right. We're all probably. Second pretty close, fight. yeah. <laughs> By the way, my voice is good. Hey, man, what's up? My voice is going a little bit, so I'm going to be, uh, I apologize, but I'll be sleeping on some movies. Who's the other cleric? I'm going to do a quick, uh, court Scott. Name. Scott's the cleric. Okay. Hi, hey, George. I'm JC. I, I've got right now two cure light wounds and a plus prepared. I'm debating adding a prot evil or, uh, even a detect evil or detect magic. Sometimes utility spells come in unusually handy, like yep. unexpected. But once we get into the thick of combat, we all have so few hit points that I may kick myself right. for not. At least at this level, your light's pretty big at D8. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what what Scott's got prep? Scott's well, Scott's kind of unique. He does have three cure light and a bless, but once a day I can do command, strength of stone, and animate weapon. Oh, your specialty for your Scott. Yeah. Okay. So who's our tank that might benefit from additional strength? I'm at strength 18 slash 50. That makes you Yeah. So what's my, am I the first, like, am I going to be the first engager in the group? Like, I just want to make sure I'm not doing my role incorrectly. You are, uh, yeah, you're the tank. The dual wielder, uh, the dowel is not really a tank. No, actually, my, my thought for her is, Melee combat to, to mostly be towards the back or the sides where she can use her bow effectively rather than roll out or a longsword. Jay, how long does Shield of Faith last for you? I know you ported it over. Uh, I gotta look that up. I think it's three rounds per level or even less. I gotta take a look. Because I'm debating a Shield of Faith to either throw on me so I can melee with a AC2 next to the dwarf. Who's there? Yes. Other so if you find yourself in melee and getting injured, it'd probably be best to back out so a cleric can move in to help assist. Unless the cleric is there. Yeah, tactically. To well, I'm saying you only can move 10. It would be 10 and a cure, but not beyond that, correct? <laughs> exactly. All right. Good evening. Good morning. Oh, my gosh. I'm Guys, day three. It's good Sunday. Good Sunday. 
of, of, of Virtual Dragon. Thank you so very much for everyone. Uh, oh, it's one round per level, Shield of Faith. That's it. One round per level. But it gives you um, plus, so, it gives you plus like, two. It gives you a plus second two level. armor class bonus. Uh, yeah, I know. For two rounds. Zap Map, you're our other mage. Excuse me? Zap, Zap Map? Yeah, he's Zap a, Zap the Zap barbarian Zap. clerk. Pro so. evil. So here we go. Good, uh, good day to you all on day three. I am uh, J.A.K. Lorgazama. I got a real cool crew. A lot of fantastic supporters and viewer watchers and uh, participants in the community are, are going to be playing um, this group. This this is a our newest group in my campaign. Uh, members of the uh, new in initiates into the Narwhal Headhunters. And my guys always, my players always uh, lo love to see other people play their, some of their characters. So this is going to be like a little what-if scenario. Um, and we'll go around and uh, introduce everyone and who they're playing. And we'll go clockwise. And we'll start. Hey, Tim, Enoch Pratt, who are you playing? And introduce yourself, please. I am playing Lindara. And I am a, um, I'm a human fighter, second level. Um, I'm... Currently, uh, my side gig uh, is a barmaid. Uh, I did that at the Green Dragon Inn, and uh, currently I'm doing that at the Centered Spear. That's where we're starting, too, by the way. So, Lindara is um, actually uh, was introduced to the campaign in Expeditions to the Ruins of Greyhawk, and Walt's idea for this character was, hey, uh, my barbarian made friends of her. And uh, she's going to travel out of Greyhawk City now uh, to Norwell. I'm just, uh, can I develop this character? I'm like, sure. And that's how Lindara came to be. So, uh, dual wielding uh, fighter. Um, yeah, my um, ultimate goal. I have a, I have a desire to become a bard. So, um, yeah. that's the path I'm on. Yep, start and going that fighter thief bard one e route. So, uh, welcome. <laughs> Thank you for coming, um, Asher and Dale. Uh, Talk about Tim's uh, crazy character you're playing. How are you? Got it, Jay. Hear my words. I am Zapnath Pania, the seeker of secrets. I am one who discovers hidden things. I am a barbarian cleric. <laughs> this is the first time I've played a barbarian cleric. Uh, it is a nice melange of barbarians and, wait for it, clerics. Um, and druids, too, really. And druids, too. <laughs> so a little bit of magic user in there at higher levels as well. Yeah. Looks like it's... Uh, so I got to see a wonderful one played yesterday by Carlos, mm -hmm. and I, I I don't have near that level of power. I don't think I'll be throwing any cold balls or fireballs around yet, but uh, he uh, he did a fantastic job and gave me a lot to live up to. So I look forward to uh, playing Tim's character, and I've always appreciated uh, Tim's characters. So this should be fun. I will wield spear and hand axe and. Uh, and, and mojo against the spirits and evils of the world. Definitely a, a right. an interesting uh, character. And I, I uh, for 30 some years, I said, I don't want to introduce this class into my campaign. And then I, when we did Narwhal up, I'm like, this is the perfect time uh, to have uh, to try this class out. And it's going very well. And so uh, I'm glad uh, to see uh, someone besides uh, Tim and Carlos will be playing one. And uh, it's a great, it's a great uh, Dragon Magazine article. If you're interested, you can check it out there. So, uh, George, I wonder, George, uh, uh, Lexfire on... Uh, Morning. Yep. Uh, George is playing Sconce, the Dwarven Specialty Priest of Moradin. Uh, he hails from Graysmore. Uh, Sconce belongs to the uh, <clears throat> Guardian of Iron, which in many cases requires him to fulfill his duties by defending and protecting while traveling yeah, and i will do my best to assist this group sconce is one of the two npcs i have in the, the, this group and so <laughs> that, that is my uh my creation and he uh he um has uh by the way so you have that bless you have spell extension so Correct. when you cast bless it's not six rounds it's nine rounds right Okay, so just a little little benefit there uh, for that, and uh, thank you for coming on and playing. And thank Kate, you, Casey, a regular uh, with the Living Greyhawk games. How are you? I'm fine. Good morning, everybody. Thank you, Jay, for having me, and I look forward to playing with everyone here today. I'm going to be playing Searsha, Bill's character, the half orc ranger cleric of Tritherian. We are a 
well, she, not the royal we, is a freedom fighter traveling around to help free people from tyrants and other bad types. As a ranger, she has favored enemy apparently humanoids, but she is going to be a social justice warrior for humanoids who are, are oppressed by evil humanoid leaders. If uh, we could all just get along, <laughs> it, we would all do better against the evil oppressive forces that exist in this world. So praise be to Tritherian the Summoner. And uh, hopefully uh, Bill will appreciate the, the style you play of, of Saoirse today. So, um, he probably won't. <laughs> Uh, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> That's awesome. Thanks, Casey. Uh, Jeff, how are you, man? Doing good. Uh, name's Jeff. You may know me as uh, Strange1979. I will be playing a dwarf fighter, specializes in battle axe. Uh, he's had some trouble with his eyes. It's kind of glossed over, so he has specialized in blind fighting. Uh, he yep. hails from Dumadan. Yep. Also, his ultimate goal in life is to wield one of the unfounded axes of Varnafane. There's still the fifth and sixth axe, so he's researching for that. Yes. Long-term plot in our campaign uh, developed, and that's another Walt character. For some reason, Walt's characters seem to be the most played when we run stuff. I think he makes very, very good playable like you know, characters for the masses if that makes any sense uh, so that, that that's a good that's a good one too and he's a, he's basically going to be your party tank uh, and so we have two doors in the party there you go mm -hmm. so very nice and uh Dwayne what's up man Prometheus yeah I'm I'm doing well so yeah I'm my name's Dwayne Hewitt I'm Prometheus in Twitch I'm playing Matt Shutlin who's a thief but he also dabbles in shadow magic and he's tries to use the shadows to work against the darkness and he's a dual wielder two-fisted fighter with two short swords one of them silver just in case yes absolutely and his uh one well, is magical right you got a magic weapon too if i recall oh yeah that's right the silver yeah, you have a yeah. Yeah, yeah it's a plus one short sword silver yeah so um this is Tom's character. Matt Shotlane is a mix-up of his name, his real name. So uh, that's how that, that name came to be. And uh, so um, you're you're the only uh, really stealth person. Uh, well, you got the Rangers too, but uh, you are really the true uh, trap finder if there are any in this group. And then, then uh, Amy, welcome. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I'm uh, playing uh, Laura He. She's a uh, first level ranger, first level magic user, Sylvan elf from uh, an early forest clan. Um, oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta look again to remember because there's so many of them. Uh, uh, clan wait. Meldoran. Yep, yeah, Meldoran, uh, yeah. She is a follower of uh, Alana of the Forest, and uh, her goal in life is to protect the forest that is her home and to protect her people. She is uh, another NPC of mine in this group and does a very, uh, you know, very. I have her as a backup uh, to a lot of things. Fighter, long, yeah, she's got a long bow, you know. She uh, she has two fisted fighting, but she's not proficient in her secondary hand yet. But she's a she's a good, uh, a good, well rounded uh, character, you know. If you know in first edition, Rangers get two hit die at first level, so the Rangers really have uh, a nice advantage to uh, to uh, boost up with some hit points. All righty, so. We are ready to go. Everyone's got two regular hero points, two regulars. Uh, no one's got any specials yet. And then uh, when we're 28, 22 uh, cheer Actually, Jay, uh, yes, sir. Sid, we did throw out one uh, 10,000 cheer. Oh, she did? Me. Thank you. She, uh, please remind me. That's great. We're going to randomize that amongst all the... Uh, Amongst all the, look at that, Laurel Lee. I roll a one. It's going right on my list. So you got three regulars now. Boom. Awesome. Right. Off to a great awesome. start. Awesome. 22 away from a special. So um, I have this Medwin individual here too, who's part of the group. Uh, he's an elementalist. I just have him hanging out with the group here. So you, you have been told that, uh, and you've been told by your liaison to the headhunters, and her name is Candace, and she's a bandit, a human bandit. That uh, um, there will be a, a meeting. You're at the Sundered Spear, which is in 
which is in Norwell. So hopefully I have the map set up correctly right here. Yep. Uh, no, I don't. Of course not. Uh, one sec. <clears throat> Oh, no, no, Norwell, 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 Norwell. Latch, I'm not even going to Oh, I just went by it. Uh, I should have them in order. Norwell, Norwell, there it is. Okay. Here's our map of Norwell. All right, got some of our customized uh, customizations on here. You, this is where you are in the wild, on the wild coast. Um, you, you, you know, it, it is... Uh, on the trail to go in the gnarlies not far uh neither is the welkwood neither are the lands of lord mastrine who's a real uh thorn in the in the side to everyone evil and good alike uh you know and that that is uh that is the area that you are currently in you are in the sundered spear which is one of two bar establishments in in narwhal the sundered spear is um Falara is the uh, proprietor. She has, um, is uh, from an ex uh, adventuring group um, that uh, was wiped out. Uh, some the shining spears not that long ago. I think like eighteen months ago. She uh, walks with a limp now. Uh, she's half elven. Um, also a hardcore worshiper of Tritharian. So uh, the Tritharian followers um, have, uh, and if she knows about that, and that would include, uh, at this point, Lindara and uh, Searsha, you have permanent free room and board here, believe it or not, because of that. So uh, she's Excellent. always she's always looking for, um, you know, to further the cause and to assist and, not, you know, mentor because she is, you know, fully retired now at this point. Um, so, plus you get thrown a lot of drinks free your way, the two of you, uh, as well. And Lindara is actually working here. So, um, your group, I put you, you know, it's funny no one sits on this side of the table because then I don't want your back, you know, I want your backs to the camera. <laughs> so, you know, but uh, fourth wall sits over there. Yeah. <laughs> so, you have, uh, once again, Lindara, uh, Matt. Uh, Laurely, Sirsha, Sconce, Aristide, and Zafnaf there, and I got Medwin sitting at the table as well. Um, another character of Bills, just for the time being. So um, you're told that Candace is going to be coming in, and he's uh, very shortly uh, to discuss something with you. Does anyone do anything? Uh, order a drink. Drinks. Drinks yeah, are always a good thing, right? Okay, so drinks are being ordered. Um, do, do you want the cheap stuff or do you want the good stuff? <laughs> I want the medium stuff. All yeah. right, so you're gonna you're gonna each throw out a couple silvers for for your drinks, except oh, wait, for Linda, except for Lindara and Sirsha, who you do not have to pay for them as the uh, as the halfling uh, barmaid comes and serves you. All righty. So uh, and you, you know the cook is a halfling cook here as well, um, which is always uh, very interesting, uh, but. You, uh, you are served your drinks. Uh, a lot of you are like, oh, what could they have us doing um, now? Some some people are here of their own free will. Some are here, you don't know why, or they may have their own reasoning for being here. But you've all decided that the, the Headhunters is, a, is an organization worth at least looking into uh, to see if you want to join it uh, fully. None of you are full members, of course, but you are, some of you are being initiated in possibly in the near future so candace is your contact and she uh she comes in uh a human looking uh human female um she uh has um uh, fights with scimitar fights with short bow um and she says ah uh, you are all assembled drinks are done i appreciate you all being here and so prompt normally we are trying to round up those that are interested because you know we believe a lot in free will but it gets taken a little too far and she snickers um this seemed like the right time to be here yes i would say so i would i would say so laura lee thank you for uh and by the way, thank you for your uh, contacts to uh, and to Clan uh, Melderin. It is uh, we've been 
wanting to reach out to uh, to them or their uh, mystics uh, of the clan. And uh, my dear friend and uh, mentor and savior of my life, I may say, and she stresses that a lot that uh, this individual has saved saved her when she was a child years ago. Uh, and uh, you know, I owe everything to her. Uh, we'll be here shortly to talk to you, but uh, it's a simple mission. It always is a very simple mission, isn't it? It's too simple. Mm -hmm. It's too good to be true. So, um, mm -hmm. yes. Have you ever heard of the sinking flats to the west of Narwhal? Any of you? I have not. Ah, no? Negative. No. No. Yeah. No. Oh, I have need... once here. <laughs> <laughs> Do they need propping up? <laughs> the Seeking Flats are uh, an area. Well, we don't know what is going on there. Uh, the, the, <laughs> the Seeking Flats are just that. There's a small uh, villa, uh, almost like a thorpe. Um, and we want you to uh, take a uh, supplies to them, uh, two carts of, of just, they need the supplies bed. Uh, you, they, you will talk to Elder Vero, but... Uh, Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself, she says. As she's talking, you see an individual come in, demure, very demure, demure like maybe five foot four, um, has two long swords. You don't see any other smaller weapons. Has uh, symbols of Tritharian and the Narwhal Headhunters um, is, um, on. Um, not doesn't seem to want to smile too much. Um, this is a character uh, right out of canon, by the way. So if you want to read up on her, you go to From the Ashes in the NPC section. So uh, anyone know who this is? Mirror. Excuse Must me? be the owner. No, Falara's back here. Oh. Does anyone know who this is? I'm just curious how you know your, if you know your uh, uh, From the Ashes lore. No? It's okay I, if you don't. I do not. Okay. She inter she says ah in, uh, future initiates, thank you. I am uh, they call me Bladestorm. And she uh, quickly pulls out two long swords. Both of them glow, and uh, you also uh, have been told that she has an item that she can mirror like at will, almost mirror image herself. So it looks like there's blades everywhere. Right, and that's why uh, one of the reasons why she's uh, plus you believe to have heard that she can make one of her swords mm. dance as well so that she has blades all over in fights and she tends to work alone out in the field and Saoirse uh, will suitably fangirl brainstorm <laughs> oh this is a treat is, is she human or old she's half elf mm. she's half elven and that's why uh so Candace is like 21 and Bladestorm is half elven. So, you know, and rescued her as a, a four or five year old. So it's been that long. So, and of course the, you know, half elves, even if they're 80, 90, they still look like they're 32 or in an uh, in age of a human, you know? So mm -hmm. she's, so she is, uh, you know how old she is, but um, you're assuming she's uh, probably still of maturity age as a half elf. Right. And so, uh, I don't, you know, one of those types where you don't know how, uh, how nasty she may actually be. If it's all talk, if it's not, you heard a rumor that, uh, in order to get into the headhunters all those years ago, she had to, uh, uh, take on and uh, defeat a bandit group. And she came back a few days later with 25 heads in a, in a sack. And uh, that was that. So, um, you know, that, that's how she got her reputation. That's right in canon, too. So you can, you can read about that as well. So uh, Bladestorm says to you all, um, please, I always try to put one word of wisdom. You're in Norwell. You're not in Greyhawk. You're not even in Harby. And she kind of laughs when she says that to herself, like, you know, Harvey, you know. But uh, she says, my advice to you. She looks around and tries, you don't know if she's trying to stress this to someone, but probably she looks to the elves 
It looks to anyone the elf who, who has a part elven blood. Probably not to the doors because she doesn't have to say this. She says, do not give mercy to someone who will not give you mercy back ever. Please, Narwell, this is this town is and and the surrounding lands are filled with cutthroats and bandits and vile creatures and awful lords that will I, I'm gonna quote I'm gonna quote one of my favorite movies that is one of my favorite bad movies of all of all time, The Quick and the Dead. It will kill you for your boot laces. <laughs> so uh please uh Remember that. She says, oh, okay, well, let's, you're eating and drinking. I'm sorry I did not mean to ruin your, your, your mood, <laughs> she says. But uh, I am so happy that you're all want to become, you know, members of the Headhunters. Uh, you probably heard recently about a year ago, uh, half of our numbers was killed. Don't let that discourage you. Uh, um, that, <laughs> That was uh, that was. Why a, would you tell somebody? <laughs> because he he believes in being honest, right? So, yes. Be that honest. Half of half of the yeah half of the headhunters were killed off in an incident, um, but that is the past. And and she says Do, we we won't discuss Lord Mastrine now. We'll talk about Lord Mastrine in the in the future. Look, this is simple. Sinking flats is a community that needs our assistance it's to the west about 20 miles i'm gonna lose i'm sorry something happened i thought i heard something say it's okay sinking flats is about 20 miles to the west we have some a supply train will you please uh, it's uh from the legendary pete and john's teamster service but we need to we need uh extra guards Please take these this, these supplies there, and then <laughs> seek out Elder Vero in in town. Elder Vero uh, may uh, ask you to do another task for him. I would appreciate it if you did. And please note these are poor folk. They probably don't have any coin whatsoever to give you. Note that you're doing this for the for the good of uh, of and for proving yourself to join the headhunters. That's the only uh, instructions I may have. Do you have any questions? She says and smiles. I oh, do. The first time. Sure. And it, go ahead. Is this Zafnap? This is Zafnap. Okay. I am. I'm the the tall one with the with the rack of antlers on my head. Yes. You mentioned that half the narwhal headhunters were slain. Are we the other half? Oh, she, she, oh wow. she chuckles a little bit. Says, our numbers are unknown to everyone. So the answer to that is no, you're not the other half. Ah, okay. That would bode ill. Yes. I cannot tell you our total numbers. That would be really foolish of me. But uh, note that uh, our numbers were a lot higher about a year ago. Well, I and have another this is, this is one of the reasons why we're looking for new recruits. Someone else have a question? I'm sorry. Uh, yes, I have a, a question sure. for you, Lady Bladestorm. Bladestorm's fine. The lady in the front of the term would probably not fit me. Hmm. Uh, is there a particular enemy we should be alert for, one that might have been responsible for the loss of half your members? Oh, she says, and she goes, we're going to go back to the map real quick here. All right. And she says, whatever you do in, all right, if, if you see, <laughs> whatever you do, you see the um, lands of Lord Mastrine and the red, you know, it's kind of almost like in a circle around. She says, whatever you do, do not go within five to 10 miles of that red line. And she says, I'll tell you a little quick story that um, I, uh, a few years back, and she doesn't say how long I was patrolling in those lands. And uh, I, one of the many times I barely got out with my life. Uh, but I had to flee south and I came upon, and she says, the uh, there, south of there, and she says, I won't tell you the location is uh, va the legendary lair of, that is called Varnathane. 
and that's how Varnaping was discovered by accident. So, uh, and you can see it on the map there. So there you go, uh, Aristide. Oh, <laughs> She actually gives you a rough idea of where Varnafain is already, just and she came upon it by accident, uh, being chased out of Mastrine's land. So she gives you advice that that is for another day. Lord Mastrine is um, serves a purpose because he hates humanoids, but he hates you. He hates me. He hates every every. He hates Norwell. He hates everyone. So um, and note he has daughters, multiple daughters. And they are a plague upon the land as well. So you, please, your group, I would, I would worry about banditry. I would worry about uh, kobolds, orcs, goblins, and other nasties. Leave Mr. Anything in particular known to be active where we're going? Uh, that is the issue, no. Uh, this is only 20 miles west of, of Narwhal. Uh, but for some reason, the town is disappearing. It's sinking. You said it was 20 uh, miles west of Narwhal? Yes. It's, on the, it's actually on the trail, and it's, I should have had Anna put it on the map. It's on the, it's on the trail through, through the Welkwood. Uh, yes. Um, so you, should, you will have no problem finding it. But we need to send extra guard because uh, we are always worried about bandit attacks. Uh, on, on this road, recently especially. Whether Mastrine is behind this or some other group, we do not know. But they always seem to be one step ahead of us, which is strange. We send, we get word of where they are, and uh, they're gone when we when the, the headhunters show up to deal with them. A question for Blade. Uh, how sure. often do these uh, missions take place for resupply? Is it pretty consistent? We when was try, the last one? We try to do it weekly. Uh, what we can um, we try to send these weekly uh, we are wondering though if sinking flat uh, hats has its own um, issue within so please like I said, seek, seek, uh, seek out elder bureau hopefully uh, he will he will be able to give you some information that will uh, help sorry voice Aristide not... says, "Blade Storm, can I ask you a question?" And puts it, puts his axe on the table. What, what's what's some good food around this place? Oh, the, the grub, the, the cook of the Sundered Spear is wonderful and makes a very very hearty porridge. <laughs> The beside there's the food in Norwell tends there's a lot of hunting that, uh, in the northern Norley, but uh, sometimes those uh, do not come as often as we would like. So enjoy the porridge. It's delightful. <laughs> the food of winter. Yes. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Oh, look at that! So uh, thank you there, Frank, for that gift sub to. Uh, to Strange, who is playing in the game here, thank you so very much. Really appreciate it. And look, now that I'm not as nutty as I was, I mean, oh my gosh, last night was insane. Just to just to, to put it, that, you know, I can actually hit a button now. So, um, I wish I could tell you more, but this is straightforward. You know, go go to Sinking Flats and assist the elder as you as you can. Uh, we would appreciate it. And come back. Please, all of you, come back. Uh, you know. Let us go help Pete and John load the yes. wagons and head towards the sinking flat. She says, it's not Pete and John. It's one of his their teamsters. By the way, Pete and John are two characters from Tim's dad. For some reason, he named them Pete and John. One's a necromancer. Oh, actually, he's a dual class now. Necromancer, priestess of Bakub, uh, real mix. And the other one's an archer. And there is a service, a, a, a teamster service in almost every town in Grey, in, the, in my area of Greyhawk. There's Greyhawk, Harvey, Altamira. Yes, they're the main, uh, you know, courier service. There is throughout, you know, they're like, they're like U-Haul. So there you go. Um, just a little background information on the on the campaign, but yes, you want you can go assist them and uh, and try and then uh, 
get them all set up. It's one. It's only one gentleman. That's all they have. So you'll have two carts. So thank you very much for that follow. Really appreciate it. So one one guy, two carts. Yes. Hmm. One okay. Who's two. driving the other carts? Are we supposed to be carters? One of you. I'm not a carter. If, if it had paddles, maybe. <laughs> oh, I'm, one of you could. I'm probably. good with horses, but I don't think I've ever driven a wagon before. Well, there's a horse in front of the wagon. Right? There's two I horses. Be good with horses. You, could, so you could ride the horse on the, uh, on that, too. Oh, oh there, probably there's not be the Bill. best use of my skill set. Let's go look at the teeth of these horses. <laughs> So uh, they will uh, both depart and say, uh, please uh, um, leave. Uh, we're going to say it's first thing in the morning, and they want you to leave as soon as you're done eating and, and head out. Okay? Excellent. Jay, I had, yes. for my fourth spell slot, it is protect evil. Oh, what's that, five rounds protect per level? Evil. Uh, three per level. All right, there you go. Absolutely. So. There's uh, Bill and Master Crafter, Shashar Scorn, and a lot of the stuff you're going to see today is, of course, his. You can see that map. Here, the roads uh, in the upper hand corner, the roads are, uh, he crafted all them from, uh, it's Gamescape 3D, 3D prints, all the trees, the swampy area, all that is, is bills that you see on that map there, and all the paint jobs are as well, so. Very nice. Jay, do you need to know which spell um, Laura He has, has selected? No, you can, well, yeah, what, what, what are you going to select? Um, I was going to, to uh, keep uh, sleep. Oh, okay, very good one. Very, very, uh, very good one. I think you're going to... Good pick. So, uh, by the way, so Canadian just cheered 700, and that gave us two special hero points. Remember, thank you, Canadian. All right, two specials. Um, I'm going to randomize this right down the list. These can be used after the die roll is made. Here we go. Ready. Ready. So, the, thank you, Wiley. Uh, the last person on the list, seven, Zafnath, a special. Yay. And I'm going to do a six out of die with the other six straight down. The third down on my list, Searsha the Huntress. <laughs> Random. Whoa. There you go. So, and uh, Bill says, uh, Bill just uh, texted me, uh, don't uh, F up my character, Casey. Uh, oh, no. I'm That's kidding. I made that up. So yeah. there you go. Um, all right. So they both depart. Candace says, uh, if you come into dire circumstances, get to me as soon as possible. If, if uh, you know, what she means, if like the, there's a, a party's white, I guess that's what she means. I don't know. But she's like, come to me. Don't come to Blade Storm. I am your liaison. So she says, find me. I am. I will. I'm either be out on patrol. I will be to the west somewhere, or I will be in Norwell. But find, locate me. I will help assist. I will try and find body parts. She said. No, I'm just kidding. You know, you know, you get the ideas. But Candace is your contact. She's the one you are to go to. Uh, Bladestorm is off a lot and not seen very often. But since this is a special, it's our celebrity appearance. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Yes. All right. Uh, you, Puppet, you're absolutely correct. I saw that very late that you did you you did that. And uh, was it a cheer for a thousand or two ten thousands? It was two ten thousands, right, uh, Jason? It was two ten thousands, I believe. Um, so here we go. So two more regulars. And um, just just note that for me. So um, we got uh, Lindara. You got three regulars now. Yep. Okay. You got three regular hero points. And uh, Matt has got three regular hero points. Right. Hey. Okay. There you go. Well, I think once we finish our meal, yep. ladies and gentlemen, we should hit the road. Hit the yeah. road. Sounds okay. good. Sounds great. All righty. Hey. So uh, Medwin says, you know what? I just don't, I'm not I'm not I'm not feeling well. This parge isn't sitting well, and so Medwin uh, decides that he is not going, and he's excellent. A, he was your fire elementalist. He may have come in handy, but I don't think you need an NPC hanging around. To, I Jay think knows he... I'm anti the uh, DM PC. <laughs> <laughs> those schmucks out of here. Blame so Casey. <laughs> All right, so. What time? Uh, I just want to, okay, get on. Always, always looking at time, just because you're trying to run it like a con adventure, right? 
Yeah, I'm just going right. to put this. I don't have a, a whole village up. Sorry about time uh, allocations there. But I'm going to put you uh, that you have gotten. You travel to, um, to uh, and you're going to try and push through to get there in one day. So you, you push through to Sinking Flats. And when you get in the area, you realize that it is boggy here. And, and you're trying to figure out why. But the bogs Hoggy are boggy. boggy. Like there's swamp land mm. and a lot. And it, you see a couple maybe ex farmlands that are now a lot of it's underwater. It's just whether this happened over the course of a year or 10 years. But uh, it's. Has it been rainy lately? No. no. Right. Are we in a low spot or a river delta? Uh, no. This is yeah. bad. Yes. So maybe the the ground may be lowering or, or you know, or maybe wow. there could be another, there could be all sorts of reasons behind it, but the land is now becoming swampy, which is always never a good thing. I'm going to set up a, I'm going to set up a marching order where I'm going to put uh, the dwarf fighter in the middle and then the two rangers on either side. We can change this so that they have tracking ability. Yeah. We, we can I always make, be up front. With we can always make changes to this. And I got Lindara and, and Sconce, and then the, because the Barbarian moves so much, I got the Barbarian Cleric and Matt in the back like that. All right, does that look good for now? All right. Yeah. Sure. Three, two, two. Okay. I'll... Does everyone know who they are? Because I'm not sure I saw that. Um, Laura, am I the one? This is Laura Lee right here. Okay. okay. Aristide, Searsha, okay. Sconce, Lindara, Matt, Zafnath. Okay? Thank you. Got all right. Like I said, Looks all good. custom paint jobs by Bill. Alrighty, so there is no encounters. You are if there if there were bandits, they see a, a, a force of adventurers and they're like, you know, if but when you were scouting and you were going, you had no issues to get here, which is a good thing. We had no issues and the guy from Pete and John's is unloading the carts. Absolutely. That's not your things to do. He can handle it. And he says, Ah, oh, this is this is this was an uneventful trip, he says. Thank you. We're doomed. <laughs> let, us, let us seek y'all, Elder Vero. Okay. And, uh, of course, I have Elder Vero here. Um, and, by the way, the, 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 the main area of town, if you can call it that, the Thorpe is very depressing, right? Uh, you know, it's uh, you see a lot of the uh, uh, buildings uh, seem to be dilapidated maybe a lot of them are abandoned um but elder vero uh in, comes out and of course to uh, to bring sympathy he brought two little kids with him oh there you go as you see he's told me they haven't lost does, the dog does anyone have a detect evil spell <laughs> paranoid, paranoid. Uh, casey paranoia um Detect evil. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, no, no I didn't prep it. I would have cast it right now, Jay, so I'm glad I didn't prep it. Where's a paladin when you need one? Absolutely. Yeah. Children are evil. And that's the that's thing with my... Them. you got to remember, with my, uh, in my campaign, uh, we have 20... This is our 20th adventuring group. So Alan's got 70 player characters. Bill's got 65 player characters. So they try and really try and do get a feel for everything. So a, pa a rate straight paladin is yeah it gets played once in the blue moon but you know um, they try and uh, mix it up with character development which is a good thing so uh, you 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 make it to uh, the uh, elder Vero uh, comes meet you in the uh, quote unquote town square which is really just uh, an, uh, an area where there's uh, some mud and uh, no you know but there's nothing there but but you know the middle of the town and. Uh, says uh um ah headhunters wonderful this is so wonderful he's oh my gosh and he's like he says it three times does anyone want to point out to him that you're not headhunters yet no <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> um who's the face by the way we've had a day of traveling searsha has got a charisma 14 surely there's a another face in the park. I have a charisma of 18. That sounds like the face. Oh, yes. <laughs> Zafnath? Yes, 
Yes. Oh yeah, the Barbarian his, Cleric. He's his like, stats are insane. They are. They are insane. And you got to re remember another other couple things is that uh, I uh, my guys I trust my guys in development and I got to slap them down a little bit occasionally. But Barbarian Cleric's a tough class to uh, get the stats for, and uh, Tim's going yeah. over a special development of this character too. So. Um, Elder Vero, we come from Candace, bringing goods from Narwhal. You are an opulently, wow, he, he says, I've never seen one like, like you in these lands. I am new to these parts. I am Zapnath Pania. Excuse me? Zapnath Pania. It is it is my my people's tongue, uh, one who discovers hidden things. I am new and working with the Narwhal headhunters. Maybe you can discover what is besetting my little community. That is why we were sent. What is happening here? This marsh, this bogginess, this seems unnatural. I am... Uh... We are losing our town to this. Uh, I wish I knew. Uh, I don't. I. And he, he looks to, he says, ch ch children, he, he says, children, the food is here. Why don't you uh, go and, uh, and uh, it'll be, it'll be uh, divvied out shortly. Okay. Okay. And they take, and they head off. Kind of like a, a sympathy play, right? But I don't know if you are, you people are sympathetic or not. But he, so the elder says, this started, our town was another, just a typical Thorpe uh, that got, occasionally got raided or by, by bandits, but we could live with that. This is, this just seems unholy and unnatural. I have my suspicions, but uh, with what happened to the headhunters about a, a year ago, it has been, uh, they have not been there to help us until now, until until your, your group has come. Enlighten us, Elder Vero. What happened to the headhunters a year ago? Oh, and what are I, your suspicions? Oh, uh, the, the, the uh, headhunters lost many of their numbers and uh, and uh, and a few in and, uh, and battles, but I don't think that has anything to do. They they just could not send. They were stretched too thin and could not send help. And I'm so glad to see uh, see all of you. Um, he looks around. He's like, what a what an eclectic mix of individuals he sees, and he's looking at the two dwarves. We see very few of uh, of, of the dwarven uh, race here. Uh, this is, uh, and by the way, there's also a gnome and a halfling in this group too that uh, no one's playing either. So I mean, it's a full. We're right across the board with everything in this group. Um, he uh, he just says, "I wish I I I, I wish to tell you that um, this is what is happening, but." I was not the elder of the town until two years ago. I became the elder. Due, Let to, me an guess. due to an unfortunate incident. Yeah. So what, happened? what do you think is causing this? Yeah. The uh, the previous elder of the town. Elder, uh, and he says, Elder Knich, K-N-I-I-C-H is his, is his name, uh, ran the town very efficiently, almost like a miserly tyrant. And he's like, I hate to, he looks around, make sure there's no one else, uh, I hate to speak of the dead, but the town despised this individual and one night he uh he went a little too far and beat up uh a, a, a lady who uh dared talk back to him badly and the elder 
The town burned to hit the elder's house to the ground. With him inside. <laughs> one must have the respect if one wishes to lead. Ah. Did they find the body? Oh, yes, yes. The Kinich, the Kinich family, yes, of, of course. The body, the body was found. Uh, but his wife was rumored to delve in magics of the black nature. And uh, as the house was burning, she you, uh, was heard uh, yelling, a curse upon you all. <laughs> was the whole family burnt or just him? Uh, the whole family was burnt. But there was only the two of them. Their son, uh, who was just named Junior, had uh, died mysteriously a few weeks earlier. Or did he? <laughs> <laughs> Where did he die? Uh, he died um, on the outskirts of town. Uh, it appeared bandits had, uh, had, had killed him. That's what I heard. Right, so we're looking for these guys' son who has turned into a bandit lord. Got it. <laughs> but there are foul magics. Powerful his, magics. His his body is interned in the Kenich, uh mausoleum uh, to the northwest of town. Who interred him if there were no others no, of his uh, family? His family was alive. No, he died before they got burned. Ah, uh, he died first. And where, what were the, were the burned kniches? Out of respect, they were placed in the mausoleum as well. And who holds key to this mausoleum? Uh, well, I, I, I do now. Um, I being the care, being one of the caretakers, but I, I don't like going there anymore not have a priest in town who could perform a, a cleansing ritual if there is some sort of otherworldly influence here you can do that of course uh priests don't stay in this town for long they go off we don't even have a, a temple in town we have a little shrine uh, uh, to uh, uh, St. Cuthbert, and there's a little outside well, of there's town, there's a little stop point. There's, I guess, is, is there a deity named Farlang or something? Farlangan. Oh, yes. The yes. walker. Yes, we've heard of him. Yes, but that is, that is it. Where is this mausoleum? Is it within a burying ground or is it you mean, by you mean itself? That, you mean that mausoleum? Holy crap. <laughs> it's right over there. <laughs> well, I just, I did that. As a, yes, yes. Now we know why your town is poor. <laughs> Somebody was stealing money to build a grand mausoleum. No, seriously, though. Um, we ask if he would direct us or if there are any living committees that we might talk to there are not i can tell you the road to take because it is a little it's slightly outside of town oh but, the mausoleum is but please note that none of us in town will go anywhere near that uh, place because it seems to be there seems to be a lot of strange goings on weird noises since you buried them two years ago it's gotten worse so two years ago it wasn't too scary for you but now it's too scary for you it is and plus and everything's becoming more and more swampy when did that start no Good question wait a minute he goes oh about i guess 18 months ago oh hmm Nah, maybe he says I, I something like that. I thought it had to do with something with uh, what happened to the headhunters out uh, to the north to the south southwest of here. But that's what he says: foul magics and spells and being cast in a fight. 
So he doesn't seem to be the sharpest tack in the drawer. I think it seems obvious, friends, that we should just make for the mausoleum and uh, what see us? If there's some sort of curse. See what's what. <laughs> do, you, do you have a key? He says oh, yeah, yes, of course. Guy. Please bring this back. I do. You know, I would not want to. Uh, this is the only key I know of in existence. Were they dead when they were buried? Cat Mymore says, uh, "Yeah, probably, but uh, you never know." <laughs> so, just mostly dead. <clears throat> mostly dead. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> have there been more burials since the uh, two were buried, or have you stayed away from the mausoleum? Yes, uh, there have been, uh, and we do these usually first thing in the morning uh, when the sun is bright. But I don't, you know, just out of superstition, but. Our uh, four, five, five of our town militia uh, all have been killed in the last nine months. Yes. So we have no militia in town now. How are your militia people killed? Uh, they were ripped or hacked apart or we found them at night dead. You know, they we... should leave this town. <laughs> they should just pick up and move to the free city of Greyhawk and find Greyhawk. Like Greyhawk, is, fil- Greyhawk is a city of thieves, he says, I'm told. Why would I want to live in a city of thieves? You'll be drier. <laughs> You'll have fewer strange murders. So there are other families that use this mausoleum? This is not a mausoleum of the Knitches alone? Oh, yes, it is. The Knitches... <laughs> Can you clarify? Yes to which question? The Kaniches have, uh, until me, have been uh, elders or or ran, uh, uh, and it was the ironies. It's called Sinking Flats. Uh, For a hundred years, the Kaniches have run this town. So all the entire Kanich family is buried within. Oh, the the town wasn't called Flats until it. No, it was always called Sinking Flats. Mm. The ironies, he says. Because oh. I'm, I'm sometimes I it. sometimes I do stuff that may not make sense, and get, but that's just the way it is. So there you go. Yeah. Well, is there a um, is there a limestone quarry anywhere in the neighborhood? Not that I no, not that I'm aware of. We get stuff. We get anything that we need from Narwell. So if we need limestone, we we ask we get it from Narwell. This guy's a bumpkin, it sounds like, right? Mm. Yeah. Aristide pulls out his axe and says, uh, enough axing questions, let's head off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's head to the mausoleum. Is that I what have you the key, and he the indicates key. the road to take, I, right? I think yes. the big guy should take the keys and open the doors. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, t- I'll go get the key from uh, from this guy. All right, so who's who's getting the, uh, who's uh, taking the key? Who's going to hold it? Aristide. Okay, so Aristide, uh, Aristide's right here in the front. Okay, so you give it to the dwarf. He says, uh, dwarves are trustworthy. Yes, yeah, so here, he hands you the, he hands you the key. <laughs> oh, uh, I have something for you. If, if you help us, and he, he says, I have a very sharp axe, similar to the one you have, but sh- it's sharp. He says, "All right, can I get it now?" Uh, I, uh, this is we have very little money. This is one of the few. No one in town can use it, uh, and it, uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, militia u- used it, but we did not bury it w- with him. So uh, I will. I will. Upon your success, I will. I will we will hand this axe over to you. Is that a? Is that a deal? He says. He spits in his hand and holds it out <laughs> to shake his hand as a deal. He's like, he got that, and he, got, uh, uh, and he, got, he shakes your hand. <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you. Uh, once again there, Jason, anything on the, uh, most of the crafts you're going to see are all <laughs> Sashar Scorn, Build a Master Crafter, you know, on, on the table. So, um, excellent. All righty. So what time, of, what time of day is it? 
Uh, you travel, of course, um, it, of course, it's getting, uh, you traveled a full day to get here, mm -hmm. jumped off uh, quickly, so 20 miles on those carts, uh, it's, it's, it's almost evening. <laughs> mm, morning sounds like a good time to head to the mausoleum. Yeah, but, uh, you'd have to camp somewhere, they have no place to put you up. I have and no problem with that, murder. the stars are nice, but if you wish to press on and enter the haunted mausoleum at night we can do that why is that trouble because it's you know nighttime too some people are afraid of the dark why the night is the night is a beauteous time with this when the stars above shine upon us because we've been up all day you have been, but uh, remember, you haven't really pushed it that hard. You, a lot of you have been okay. sitting on the cart. You're fine. And again, why is that a problem? <laughs> I'm not tired. But uh, uh, you could take a vote on it if you so choose, too. You could do that. I think you make a fair point that it's never a good idea to go into a mausoleum at night. You know, We do know that undead tend to lurk around mausoleums when there's curses involved. Whether or not daylight helps... You know, exactly. it's arguable. So I think we should just press on and see what's there. That's my vote. I like that. Nadia Night is that. the time of Neral. <laughs> the also... Reaper is strong in the evenings and in the dark. And uh, I know one thing Laura Lee would say as well, even though she doesn't worship this deity, but Laura <laughs> Lee would say night is also the time of Sahin and the Moonbow too, right? Yes, indeed. Yes. So... Um, I'm Azum? comfortable in the shadows. The I shadow. will not argue with my friends. If you wish to go in the evening, I will go. I am. No one will say that Zabnap is scared. Yes, because. Uh, but you are. You, you, I love your. I love your caution. As if Tim was running that character. That is awesome. <laughs> so um, remember your hero points. There's no damage on everyone. Remember your spells that you have, please. Alrighty. So. I'm going to. Oh, look, I, didn't, I didn't want to move the cameras too much, so there you go. Alrighty. Ah, I'm, 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 oh, I can't see. I'm on the edge of the uh, underlay map there. Try to get as much as I could within reach of, of so I didn't have to run, move around the table a lot. You know, that's the uh, thing with uh, normally having my group here and just tell them to move figures and things, but. In this case, it's a little more difficult. So there you go. Your group is uh, along the track uh, heading. Um, and you notice the swamp is getting worse. The bogs and swamp uh, along this road are, are worse and worse as you go. Like it's getting, I don't know. You can make an assumption from that. But yeah, it's a very swampy, marshy area here. And so you are traveling. So uh, by the time you get here, another, we'll say another uh, three to four turns is elapsed. So half an hour. Um, so, you know, it's getting a little more dark. And uh, that is where you are. And you can tell me what you're going to do. You can tell me anything you want to do at this point. So you have, uh, you have your marching order. You can change it off or, you know. So what would you like to do? Well, even though... Um uh oh, Lily is not not a, a cleric or, or a priestess she is a follower of alana and uh they, their celebrations uh, tend to be at uh ah. it's getting late in the afternoon so this is a point in time when she will uh sing a song of, of her faith to uh hopefully gain the favor of her goddess to heal the sickness on this land so that the, the people will live in greater harmony with the nature around them wonderful i love alana alana is was at one point was the most worshiped deity we, we had of her player characters back in the day oh, alana is yeah. a great yeah alana is is uh I, you know, yeah, a lot of my characters worship alana yeah absolutely loved uh loved it uh alana tends to be the main uh main deity of half elves in our campaign too a lot of uh you know a lot of half elves worship alana so very nicely done. My is people it, know of this maiden of the forest. She is she is well known and and beloved of many, but it's but it is known that if you wish to ward off disease, it is in Cabula. She must. You must. And he pulls out a rattle and shakes it. 
That's right. You got your clack. Oh, and, and I, I let me yeah, let me just kind of correct something. She didn't really say Alona so much as she said Elenestra, which is the elven name for, for that goddess. Yep. I wouldn't have recognized that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I will refer to her by by the name the humans know her by, but I yep. I have little um little contact or truck uh for the gods of the of the humans. I worship those of my own kind. Anyone, uh, anyone have any questions of me or, you know, rule wise or whatever before, uh, maybe some fun. Uh, switching from, uh, uh, like if I have my crossbow out and then like, like say I shoot and then if yeah. I get into like melee range or something, do I, does switching from your crossbow to the ax take a full turn? Nope. Nope. So, no. so say example, you shoot your crossbow next round, you run forward and, and engage with, uh, with your weapons out. That's for, that that movement was what the action was. Changing weapons is free. You can't shoot your crossbow, drop it, and then put your shield out with your weapons. That same action, right? You can't do that, but because you've already shot, to change your armor class to make it better, right? For example. So, oh look at that! Tim just gave the group a cheer. Oh, Zaknath, his own character. Tim Zaknath's already got a special hero point. And some people don't have any. And no, that, man. That's, no, that's okay. That's fine. Yeah, Zaphna's got two. Character. All right. Zaphna's yeah. got two specials now. Don't de don't deny the barbarian the love. <laughs> <laughs> the favor of the spirits is strong today. <laughs> Give it to the face, man. Yeah, I do not care about <laughs> other people. That's nice, Tim. You're so, really, really. Yeah, he doesn't want the, he wants Zaphna to perform, I guess. So. Uh, once once we get close, I'm drawing my sword. Okay. So you get to, remember, if you have magical weapons, magical weapons illuminate in our game and do not ru ruin improvision. All righty. So uh, uh, there's a couple. A short sword is only like 15 feet at the most. But So that's where you are. Um, uh, Jay, any any impact on movement with this mud that we noticed as far not, as moving? Not, not really. Not unless you go into this, right? <clears throat> this is true swamp. I mean, if you notice, I can. It's got. Um, Bill's got some great stuff to create those water effects and all. So on that the, would oh, be so, a good so spot to lie in ambush. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, yes, yeah, so you could, if you want to. Um, right now, you don't see or hear anything. It's dead. It's you don't hear animals. It's definitely quiet. Uh, that was going to be my next question. Yeah. You know, what about the birds and the animals? Because they they should be active still this this time of day. Yes, you don't hear any. She's looking around um, to, to see what, if there is a, a reason beyond the swampiness of the land that has caused the, the animal's behavior to change. And she does have her longbow. Rangers. Uh, that strong across her lap. Rangers, that concerns both of you. Yeah. So mm. This, is this would be a good spot for an ambush. I keep an eye out for fanged ones. And then I look at the half orc and say, well, other fanged ones. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's keep moving. Okay, I'll move you forward. Uh, slowest move rate's nine, so I'm going to move you both. I'm going to move you about this far as you're 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 getting cautious now at this point, right? Absolutely. Yep. We, yes. Yeah. I'm my crossbow out. No problem. All right. We're on foot, correct? Excuse me. We're on foot, correct? Yes, absolutely. Okay. I just. Yeah, absolutely. You came. You came. I'm going to turn up the sound. Yep. Baby with another. Thank you so very much. All the gifts up. Um, really, really appreciate it. You get to that point, and um, yeah, you had two horses, and uh, you know, uh, riding on horseback tends to be a, a um, um, can be done. But uh, J uh, Tim will tell you, Jay loves killing uh, killing horses there um, a lot. So. You know, <laughs> via whatever. When you get to this point, you hear rustling, uh, and also your eyes, um, as it's getting dark, did uh, your eyes for from the elves? You know, especially in the dwarf up front. There's there's move there's movement you've noticed now, all over, but your infrared doesn't detect anything. What about my blind sight? Uh, but if it was, if it was in total darkness and your blind sight's only 10, oh, blind fighting. 
Oh, blind fighting. It's blind fighting. So if you're in, if someone casts a darkness spell or turtle darkness, you can fight at minus two to hit instead of minus four. If you're blinded by a blindness spell, you're minus two to hit instead of minus four. At eighth level, you don't have any penalty with blind fighting. So, yep. So you see things moving that your infravision did not detect all in the trees around you. Of course, right? Of course. And of course, I can barely, I'm going to, uh, so, I'm going to put them where they're not going to fall over. So there are, right here, because I don't want to have cameras being blocked, there are trees over here that are not out, just because, it, you know, it would block sight. Well, it's actually too fairly close to you. Well, that one's going to fall. And you're like, oh, no. <laughs> oh, my. And they're coming out from the trees in all directions. <clears throat> there you go. Can you see them? They look like skeletons and zombies, Jay. Oh, uh, well, they look like some kind of, yeah, probably. I mean, I am a cleric. Mm hmm. How many times per day can Sirsha turn? It's not times per day, it's yep. encounters. So oh, okay, excellent. You can turn, this is the way it works 90 arc, you can get as many as you can by type, by encounter. So if they're all the same, you can do one a turn attempt. Okay. Right. How far? How far away are they? Uh, see, this is where you come. The closest ones are within six, 50 to sixty feet of you, right? And you got um, here. Laura Lee's about seventy away on the other side of the swamp, and the rest of them seem to be about a hundred. So we're going to start in the upper left. Tim, give me a six-sided die roll for initiative. Let's go. Five. Woohoo! Five. Ah. Oh. You go on four. The spirits right, well, are with us. I will call. I will call out as we go. Now, uh, turn is turn is at one twenty. So sconce. No, not sconce. Not sconce. Not sconce. Not sconce. Uh, uh, Sirsha, what do you want to do, Sirsha? If they're all within one twenty, I'm gonna present the summoner's holy symbol. Step forward ten feet if I need to. Yeah, I'm gonna put you there. Yeah. You, you got to have to turn the five over there. Uh, I mean, whatever right. I can get. You can attempt 100. to get five, these five. You want to attempt to? Sure. What do you need? First, if they're skeletons. If they're skeletons, I think I need a 10. Roll according eight. to Bill's character sheet. Yep, roll. Okay. That's a natural one because I'm Casey. Yes! <laughs> Be gone, Falk. What's not working? Sk Is uh, this let's... holy symbol turned on? <laughs> Laura Check Lee. the batteries. Laura Lee, you're up. Okay. I always run, roll a natural one to start. Oh, my gosh. Shows. At least it wasn't on an attack. That's awesome. Oh, All yeah. Right. 1E2E, man. 1E2E here, Weary Warlord. I'm old school. 40th right. year of the campaign. So, um, at this point, I, take a, I can take a, a an action. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. What would you like All to right. do? You're up. Um, hmm. Well, um. That's a lot of skeletons. Yeah, they all look like they all look like skeletons. Probably. It, hmm. I know you, your weapons are. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and uh, yeah, I don't know how much experience my character has with this, so the players kind of go, hmm. Yeah, you know, you know, especially arrows and, and edge weapons are not very good on skeletons, but I mean, they're not. You know, maybe you gotta hack them a little bit more. Well, um, I fail, yeah, just the uh, bromium critical fails. Are, yeah, I never developed that. So, well, um, you can shoot. I mean, you can shoot two arrows. They're still gonna do half damage. Yeah. If it's, if it's a yeah, I guess it's better than nothing. So she'll shoot uh, two arrows at one 
skeleton and all right now here's here's a little bit of trickiness with the rules if the, i'm going to assume these two are going to be engaging at some point so you're going to have short range on them all right even though they may not they may be medium now they're short because they're moving forward all right so uh you go um you're going to shoot your masterworks or regulars uh she's going to shoot the regulars for for this round all right Pl uh, here we go uh these skeletons are armor class seven all right so okay. we have the following fighters are going to be 13s uh thieves 14s uh and uh and clark's 13s all right that's that simple mm -hmm. and you're plus three to hit roll roll two attacks okay are you saying plus three to hit or two three plus three to hit okay yep plus three yeah, 13 to hit yeah all right well i rolled a natural 20. critical oh. hit oh, oh. second attack yeah, I'm like Casey. Usually my dice hate me, so. <laughs> that's awesome. Got a crit right off the bat. I am very jealous. And happy We've gone from that. 1 to 20, so that's good. Yeah, and I rolled a 15 plus 3 is 18. Okay, both hit. So give me the crit. Roll percentile dice, please. Okie dokie. Let me get my percentiles. That out. is very good. Yes, we, percentiles are big in our game. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm rolling for, but I'll let you tell You're me. rolling for a crit. Yeah, see what it is. Okay, so 79. 79, critical hit, double. So roll me three dice six plus okay. zero, and we're gonna half that. Okay, and that's for the first attack. First first two attack. You, 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 okay. No, so that was both. You hit twice. Oh, that, oh. Dice six, he just had you roll everything six. at once. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, yeah. I got you. Yeah. All right. So I rolled a nine. Nine, hit, oh, nine halved. Okay. You didn't kill it. I didn't or nope. did? Did not. Okay. Because uh, it's half damage. <laughs> uh, Aristide, up front. You're like, hmm, nice targets. Uh, I will <clears throat> shoot twice with the crossbow at the one that she just shot. Uh, okay, now or, here's the thing. Uh, here's the thing. Okay. It, it, you, that, the, the distance on that's further. You got, you got short <laughs> over here. So oh, okay. think you got short range on like these two here and maybe one of those. And short range is like a plus go. one to hit. Remember, crossbows right. are only once per round. Um, even once per if round. you were specialized at this level, one mm -hmm. shot per round with a light crossbow. Okay. Uh, how far? I guess how far is the nearest one to me? I guess fifty feet. Fifty feet. Yeah, it's short range. All right. And Jay, uh, short I, range is plus one to hit. Uh, for Aristide, no, sure, he's plus one zero based on his, his uh, decks and everything. So he's plus but what one I'm to saying hit. is, does the range matter for tactical purposes? Uh, yes, it does, but it, it doesn't give you a benefit. It just doesn't give you a negative. Short <clears> is zero, uh, medium's minus two, and long's minus five. It's built yeah. into the, the table of your uh, down there on your sh all your sheets if you have missile. So, yeah. so you want you want to shoot at short range to have a better chance of hitting is what I'm getting at. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So, yeah. Uh, I'll just move up just a little bit, just so that I'm more of a target, just so our, yep. and, I guess uh, the weaker party menters, and then I'll shoot at the nearest Roll one. die 20, one shot. And by, by the way, light crossbows do die in my game, right? Not die six. Uh, well, that's probably not going to hit a yeah. six plus one, I guess, yeah, so seven. You shoot it, and it, it shoots like a flare. Shh. Six up in the top of the tree. Uh, so, uh, uh, that would help. Sconch, you're up. Uh, Sconce will pull out his holy symbol and try to turn on this side. the un undead that's in front. Okay, so you do that, um, and you're a little... Go ahead, roll. What do you need? A seven. Mm -hmm. I rolled a nine. Okay, now give me a die 12. Die 12. Mm -hmm. Oh, 10. Okay, so there's five on this side. Now, here's a rule, a J rule, a J homebrew rule. You're probably not going to like it, but that's okay. Uh, once you turn something, if you damage it, it's not right. turned, right? Don't yeah. attack the turned ones. Yeah, Let it stay. Yeah, so, <laughs> Let them run so away. You start seeing uh, some of these, four of them take off on this side, except for the one that got shot over here. All right. So a, it looks like there was a, a successful turn roll by our priest over here and Very got jealous. rid of half, over, almost half of them. So there you go. What god was that to against Gaunt? More than the soul forger. Yes. Of course. Lindara, you're up. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to um, use my sling. Okay. I have an 18 dexterity. Yep. You can just look right on your table there. Uh, so you're going to be at um, you're going to be at medium range, and it's, you got a plus one to hit. Okay. Mm -hmm. One. 
What am I rolling? My 20? Yep. All right. 14. That hits. Sling. Uh, yeah, so uh, they're bullets. So uh, yeah. what's that? Two to five? Di yeah. So it's die four plus uh, one. Two to five. There okay. <clears throat> How much? I rolled a three, making it a four. I have two. We are good. Good shot. One shot with a sling per round. Matt Shoutlane. He's like, oh, gosh. How am I, what am I, can't backstab these. <laughs> yeah, so how far away are, the, are they? The nearest one to you is about 80 to 100 feet. And what's the terrain like? Is it really swampy here? Am I going to get bogged down if I go, no, go it, towards it? No, it is it? As, it see, as you see. The, the bog is right here. This is the bog, right? Yeah. Everywhere okay, else I'm going to... I'll move up to the edge of the bog mm -hmm. and, and wait for it, but I'm also going to try and go to the side so I'm not in the the way of any missile weapons from the party. Okay, oh, so so you're in the back. Over here, it's simultaneous, but half the, this side's gone. They're all on this side now. So you want to come over here, right there? I mean, there's there, there's a group of five on this side. Coming over to this side, there's only one. Okay, so yeah, I'll go towards right. the ones that aren't turned. So like... Like right about there, and then Zap uh, is pretty good. Zafnaf, what are you doing? I am going to pull out my rattle, shake it, get the attention of the spirits. So yes, because you can turn undead too. And turn them. This is okay. this is the way it is done amongst my people. Fifteen. Roll, roll, roll me a twelve-sided die. A twelve-sided die. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eleven. Okay. All right. So, wow. See, this is what happens. You have three clerks in the party. Uh, so, uh, the, these four, four of them start turning off and heading back into the woods. The one that got shot does not. All right. So, they they disperse off and and run away as fast as possible. So we have movement. This one comes around and and gets close enough. This one runs and engages right here and engages between Searsha and uh, and uh, Aristide, the two that are left. That one's within 10 for the next round. The others, they call, look at that, it went from, t it went from 10 down to two due to do your turns. That's pretty good. So um, that is where uh, we are. Uh, my, I did my actions and roll again, keep Tim, you keep on rolling till you lose up there. Roll six out of die for a new round. Thank okay. you for the follow, thank you very much. I got a four. Reroll. Two. Thank you. I got a one. Oh. Ah. Swing. One Laurely. Here we go. Can out Jay? Can I declare a dodge before my turn, or do, or do, am I stuck? What is a dodge? Um. That's not a that's not a one e two e. Do you have the proficiency? Is that on the there is, uh, is I, may be, I may be confusing additions. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. So this is what you can do. Pre-roll, pre-initiative, you can you can parry. Okay? It, but then that you can only do defensive. So as a, as a ranger, it would be minus four in its hit roll, but that's all you could do that round. That's okay. a defensive thing. Yeah, dodging is uh, dodging does not ex uh, one e two e. It's uh, right. not an existing well, then, yeah, action. This, uh, yeah, I, I don't. I don't have a lot of hit points and a lot of armor class, so I think I think avoiding a hit is a smarter move right now. So, so you want uh, you, you want to actually parry, and that's what you're going to do as your action this round. So yeah. she didn't know. I'll let you do that. Minus four to hit. Okay. So she uh, her action is tied up, and I roll, and uh, you probably I rolled a fifteen. That's probably a wow. I'm, uh, so let me go down and calculate this real quick. I should know this. It's my own. It's my own freaking character. Uh, so she's armor class five. Um, which um, <coughs> guess, guess what? The par I would have hit if you did not uh, parry. So that uh, the, par <laughs> the parry yeah. stops that. Now the other skeleton on the other side, the others does not swing at the door. Swings at Sirsha. Sirsha is now armor class four. So I roll this one. I deserve and, it for failing to turn. And I roll a twelve. I roll a twelve, and that missed as well. So I have two. I have two misses. So now uh, we have. Um, Lorley went. So we're going to go to uh, Aristide. Roll your attack. You are you are a plus two to hit. You only need an eleven on the dice then. 
All right. Um, is it melee range? Are they? Yeah, it's engaged right with you, right there. Oh, uh, so I switch to my battle axe. Yep. Roll, roll that twenty-sided die for me. Um, eight plus two, so yeah, ten. That's ten. You missed. You needed a thirteen. So, uh, Sirsha, you are up. Try theory and guide my blade. That's a two on the dice. Uh, well, I, I may be done with one. Trithurian. Miss, Just double your first roll. Miss, miss. Okay, now we have what's called the rule of the three. So we have Lindara, we have we have Matt, uh, who hasn't done anything. We have um, Sconce, and then we have Zapnath. There's two left. So, Sconce, what would you like to do? Sconce is behind the uh, ranger, correct? Yes, and you can't swing this round. You're outside of 10 feet, but you can engage this round, or you can do something else. Well, I'm going to support the ranger that has one on her. Excuse. Uh, do you want to come over here and? and uh, yes. Okay. I'm going to support you her. You're within. You're in striking distance. You're engaged for next. And I can swing too. Nope. Oh, okay. More than ten. I okay. know sometimes you got to get out of the five E mode. Some of you is. Uh, no, that's a. I just hard to tell on the map how yeah. far. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. You were back. You were back about thirty feet. So, Linda, okay. what would you like to do? Uh, I think I'm going to draw both my swords and engage. Which one? You can reach either one. The skeleton. Over here or skeleton there? Uh, point to them in relation to me again. You're here. There's a skeleton here, a skeleton there. You got movement rate well within either one. Um, I'll take the one to the left. Probably a smart move since the specialized, another specialized fighter is on the other side. All right, Matt. Okay, I'll go to the one up. Is there room on the one on the left for me too? Not on the left. There's three going it now. She she ran ahead of you. There's there's two only two here. Okay, I'll go up to that one. So yes, I love it. A thief who wants to fight, beautiful. And then Zapnath. I think my compatriots have this fight well in hand. Okay, so I'm gonna just put you in between mid midway in between them for tactical. There you go. Sound good. I'll I'll move forward in my uh my magical spear. I can produce light with it. Okay, sounds good. So I that, tap it on the ground and provide adequate lighting. There you go. Oh, there you go. It's so, still my line. That's a, that's a, uh, so, George, that's a good question on the, the bullet stone would be full damage as well. Is that blunt? No. It's oh. just, it's a, it, that's a good question. And we've argued with that for 40 years in the game. And I, no, seriously, this has gone on since uh, we were kids. Um, an arrowhead's bigger than a sling bullet, correct? Depends. It depends. Yeah. Well, a bullet's got to be a couple inches across, you right? Think so yeah, I don't know about that. It is. That's a tough call. We we go yeah. through that argument all the time, and I've always said it, it, um, it's not like a yeah, boulder getting thrown, and 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 if it hits through the rib cage, it may you know what I mean. It's a tough call. So we always mm -hmm. we always said it, it, was, it was half damage as well on skeletons. It's a it's a tough one though, and it, we go back and forth on that a lot a lot. Mm -hmm. Sling bullets are kind of round, and okay. and uh, I mean I don't know if they flatten going through the air the way like a, a minet ball would from a right. From a, it's a, it's I just it's, thought it was the weight and not the piercing, just the weight of it. Yeah, I I would think of it more of as a blunt, but but you know. Yeah, hey, that's good. That's cool. Yeah, it's a tough it's a tough one. Um, so, uh, uh, you know, one of those uh, one of those that maybe one day I would I would I would be convinced enough to make it a full damage but uh, as of now we uh, go with uh, we go with the same as cross yeah, as consistent yep. yep give me a nick again uh, it goes to uh, Asher you're up because uh, Tim lost there so here we go six out of die please Four. five nice I win again uh, Laurel Lee are you going to continue to parry or are you going to swing this round you should have should have done that before. Uh, since since uh yeah, at this Sconce point, is right there too. Yeah, so at this point, since the uh, she's the, the way that the, she's got the initiative at this point, yeah, she'll uh, yeah. she'll switch to longbow because people are getting too pro close pressed in. She doesn't want to shoot anybody, so she'll switch to her long sword and, and strike with that. Okay, so you are going to attack this round. I won a nit, by the way, so I'm swinging at you. I just wanted to know if you were going to parry again. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we had the initiative. No, you lost. Yeah. And well, you have to declare it anyway. Yeah, you got to declare it before the initiative roll, right? die roll. But, uh, you know, so okay. here we go. I'm going to swing at you normally. Um, uh, ooh, a 12. 
Boy, that's awfully close. Uh, but that missed. That oh. missed. This time, over on that side, the skeleton... Just at the, at the last minute as the mm -hmm. skeleton's weapon brushes past her body. Swing over on... Aristide gets... The dwarf gets swung out this time. And, um... It's... I may not damage you to, any of you the entire adventure. Uh, I rolled a seven. Both missed. All right. So, uh, Lorley, <laughs> Lorley, you can go first. Roll your long sword attack. <clears throat> plus one to hit, plus one damage. Okay. Armor class seven, so you need a 12 on the dice. Plus one. You need a 12 with mm -hmm. plus one, so I actually need an 11. No, you need a 13 with a plus one 12. I'm sorry. Oh. I, I, I said it to, ahead of time. Yep. Okay, I gotcha. Uh, <laughs> five. There's a lot of mosquitoes. Yes. Sc <laughs> sconce, you're I up. I a lot of them. <laughs> Warhammer, sconce, no modifiers. Uh, can I maneuver for like a back attack? or yeah, get... what, What's that? Okay, I guess not. <laughs> uh, or a flank? Uh, no. No. Okay. So once again, once again, in, in 1E, we, uh, melee combat is not static. And so uh, everything's moving around. Now, the difference between that and uh, um, sneaking up and backstabbing is a whole different thing. When you sneak up and you get on something and uh, you, you do it. Okay. Back, yeah. So, yeah, absolutely. No problem. It's okay. Good question. Uh, 14. That hits. Oh, good. Okay. Full damage, 2 to 7, right? So, die 6 plus 1 from a Warhammer. Die 6 plus 1. Yep. Full damage, too. I maxed out six foot one seven. Wow! All right. So, uh, Lind Lindara, roll your two attacks for me because it's all simultaneous. Short sword, short sword. What's that? Roll your two attacks. Short sword primary, yeah. short sword secondary. All right. Dun, dun, uh, dun, dun, dun. First is two. The second one is fourteen. Well, uh, that hits with a minus one. So die six plus zero and halved. Die six. Got a two. Uh, two have two, the thing crumbles. Nice. Okay. All righty. Uh, who would, uh, Just sorry. for the sake of clarification, um, mm -hmm. so I normally carry a shield. I have that strapped to my back right now. Yes, exactly. You do. You you uh, you have a, a case because you're really not that great in your secondary hand. So a lot of times, uh, so your armor class now is three. But um, I think you had a plus one shield uh, you got in an adventure. So your armor class drops all the way to one when you pull that shield out. So I think that's the best armor class in the party. Yes, it is. It is definitely the best armor class. So um, we will, let, we'll do the specialized fighter last. Give everyone enough a, a swing here. So uh, we'll do Matt first. We'll do the thief. Short sword plus one primary. Short sword minus two secondary. All right. And so you need base 14s. Okay, primary. Yep. Five. Miss. Secondary. Six. Uh, swing and a miss, double. You're swatting at the fireflies around. Two misses. Go ahead there, Searsha. Plus two. Hey, I got a 16 for eight points, so four points of damage with a longsword. Okay, and nice. now Aris Finally. Aristide swings twice. <laughs> uh, on, on the regular hero points, what is that for again? You can use them before a die roll declare any die roll you make. Alright, so first attack. Uh, nat 20. Critical oh, hit. So right. Second attack. Second Yay. attack. Uh, Nat one. Fumble. Good thing you rolled the twenty first. A, a crit and a fumble. Absolutely. Agony so this will ecstasy. be fun. He has no specials to undo it. So roll the critical hit first. Nice. Oh yeah, this is pretty spectacular. All right. So what am I rolling? The percent, percent die. Yes. Yeah, so see, what, all they're right. all jumbled up. By the way. Uh, a hundred. Wow. Massive critical. So 90 and then it showed a zero. So, yeah. Massive critical. So roll two, roll the crit twice. <laughs> Let's see what it did. 
So percentile again? Twice. Yeah. Uh, uh, 79. Roll it one more time. That's double and roll it again. <laughs> that is 93. Uh, that's double. Four die eight, so it's quadruple damage. Four, four die, four you die might eight kill plus, some of the ones that were turned. Yeah. Four, <laughs> to eight plus, four to eight plus five head. Alright, that is Thunder gave a regular out. 17, 4, 21 plus 5, 26 damage. Have 13. Uh, that thing crumbles. So uh, the regular hero point um, actually goes to you, Aristide. Now you have three regulars, okay? And that was from a Bromium 10,000 turn in, and that one crumbles as well. So, you don't know, uh, they scatter the others off. You don't know if you will ever see them again or not, because you, who knows mm -hmm. where they'll end up. So, but there's a lot of skeletons uh, in this area. Like, that's... I, mm. Not to be mean, but did, did I miss the fumble? Oh, my gosh. Oh, Casey, you you got to experience the fumble, man. Roll the fumble, too. Oh, my gosh. I do have a 110K cheer that I got. Does that... Is that or what was your take position? away? Uh, you need a very special hero point to undo uh, undo one. And there's only a couple in the party. Roll your percentile, please. All right. Um, a three, three percent, zero zero, and then a three. Uh, so guess what? And that second swing, you were so impressed by your first. Um, roll a six out of die. Tell me if you roll odd or even. <laughs> Uh, odd. Odd. You hit Tom. Ooh. I'm sorry, not Tom. Matt. You hit Matt. It's just Tom's ah. character. Uh, roll, roll your damage. Die eight plus five. Oh. It's half damage. Uh, one plus five. So six, six half. Three points. To, uh, Matt, you take. You, you only had ten hit points. And I got seven. <laughs> oh. Ouch. <laughs> the first damage in the party was done. Dude. By, uh, <laughs> Wow, self-inflicted wounds. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's, hey, there's, there's critical hit friends, too, guys. This is me to go into melee. <laughs> <sighs> All righty, they're down. The skeletons, others have scattered due to the turns. So uh, what do you do? Well, who got hit? Matt, uh, me. He's off three hit points. He's down to three? He's down to seven. Nope. Yeah, okay. Well, you want to cure? I'd rather have everyone be cured up full. Yeah. All right, Scons will do a cure light. Cure light. He's a turtle. Do you roll it, Jay? Or? I always roll the healing, yeah. Okay. I roll the healing. I roll thief abilities behind. That's cool. A little... Yep. So um, uh, he, everyone's back to turtle. You got two dead skeletons. They look like they've been in the ground a long time. Thank you, Scons. You're now, welcome. Recently, uh, so the group, what's... Does the group what would the group like to do? Oh, I'll, I'll ask towards the mausoleum before Continue we get attacked to move again. Continue that direction. Okay. That's my can our, guys. Can our rangers tell the way the skeletons <laughs> I I turned went? Maybe we can. You could track them, but the, uh, listen, they, they they all did not go together. So to this side here, the 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 was there was the four. They bolted. didn't go home. They, the, they bolted in four different directions right. over they, here. They bolted. The clerics can tell you that. They just bolted away they from bolted, the holy symbols. The turn was successful, and they all took off all, right. all in different directions. You would have to spend the entire night tracking no, no, that, each one down. Yeah. Just maybe as we get closer, we'll be wary if we see any tracks. Maybe if they did wind up closer to where we were at. You can slow down your movement and have the rangers do tracking as you're moving forward. That's a, that's always an allowed no. ability. No, no, let's go, go before it gets super move. dark. All right. I grabbed the thumb we bone of the dead. skeleton I dropped. Nice, you can do that, sure. <clears throat> little that's, souvenir. That's kind of, I'll put Aristide in the front here. Jay, was there anything on the skeletons we know? Was there any bits of, was there clothing still, or is it just true? Yeah, there, there's some the weaponry and some loose clothing, and that's about it, really. I right. mean, just nothing, nothing tremendous. Oh, look at it. Uh, one of Zaph... For one of Zafnas' choice. So you get to give that special hero point to whoever you want. Ah. Zafnas, who would you like to give it to? Ooh, let's let's give it to Fiala. So you're gonna okay, so you're gonna give it to uh you're gonna give it to Laura Lee. There you go. Laura Lee, you got 
You got a special now. All righty. Excellent. She seems to be on the defensive a lot. I want to give her a little more faith. She can trust herself. So it, uh, it, that, uh, went very well for you with all the clerics in the party. That's pretty amazing. So, um, you get to this point in the road, you come to the uh, at Forks, and you can see uh, ahead that that, the, that that direction, it goes right into a very deep-looking bog, the road heading uh, to that direction, which is uh, north, and you're like, ah, that's not, that's not the way to go. But you continue on the road, and uh, I'm going to move you forward um, a fair amount. As you're tracking, uh, there's really you know, nothing you find... Uh, I don't think we're going to have speed to track, Jay. We know there's <laughs> no. undead now. We're just trying to get All right, you're water. not going to track. Okay, cool. Nah, yeah, who cares? We're either going to get attacked or not. That's oh, yeah, you let's, think so? let's let's get to the mausoleum. Right. Yeah. Okay. Then they'll probably just drop where they are. Especially if it's half speed. Forget All that. Right. So you get to this point here, and there's a real, right in the middle of the road is this really gross sinkhole. You can see another bill. <clears throat> A built hmm. craft here yeah uh, that looks great bill yeah it's a wow. 3d it's a 3d print from uh part of the road set from uh, uh get my uh sponsored games bill D. heard me make fun of you guys for not having water so he 3d printed some water <laughs> there you go noiser doiser redeem free city of altamira well, noiser doiser you'll get a uh um you'll get a uh VIP badge for two weeks. That's what that does. He's now you become a member of the greatest city in uh, no one's gonna in Alt in Altamira. In the greatest the city in the in the province of Altamira. Yes, Ooh. yes, that was so awesome. That was a nice bone that Anna threw me. You know, so you get to this point, and uh, but here's the thing: you hear uh, noises. All, you can't really see from this distance, but you hear a lot of noise coming from this uh, muck hole. Are they like gross fart noises? <laughs> yeah, um, not like that, but there, there is definitely a noise of some sort, almost like a squeak, squealing and squeaking a little bit. Is there, um, is there any kind of uh, odor like sulfur or anything like that? That's that's not natural. Uh, you can't tell at this distance. I just say you can hear the sound more as you know as it's getting dark. So the infravision works. There's um, so when you get to within sixty, you're all very close. So I'm going to move you forward a little, just a little bit more. The front row all sees things scurrying all over the place uh -oh. around this around this um, hole. What? Oh, uh, rat swarm. See, see a whole, yeah, something, yeah, a pile of things moving, yeah. There's a nest or. Of... <laughs> um, I suggest we stay back, shoot it, and then see what the they're eating that rises up to attack us. <laughs> Jay, I have a question. That sounds wise. Yes, go for it. Um, before we before we left the the site of our last encounter, was Laura he able to recover the two arrows that she used? Uh, regular arrows are not recoverable. Only special types of arrows are recoverable for the most part um. in the game. <clears throat> so you're off the arrows you shot. Yes. Okay. Keep trying. Jay, yeah, I am. Oh, no. Go ahead, Amy. Sorry. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. No. Um, I just wanted. I just wanted. Enough. I'm going to shoot an arrow in there and. and that's shoot. what. That's what I'm going to do. I've got a bow, so I'm up front. Um, Jay, I'll put away a long sword and the shield and pull off the long bow and plunk an arrow into that group of. Swarm yeah. Rat. Ooh. And see what the hell trouble I stir up. That is awesome. I love trouble. So oh. uh, you're gonna you're gonna you, roll, roll. Um, armor class eight. I believe I am plus two to hit because this is short range. Yeah, it's right on your sheet. So. Well, not really, because the short range says plus one, but I've got a dex of sixteen. So that's this plus up. one. Right. So I should be at plus two to hit at short range. No. Bill. Bill's sheet is only says plus one on short. Because that's it. What other modifier? Oh, it's not a bonus. Gotcha. That's your total modifier. That's yeah. my total. It's not a bonus. Okay. Yep. So roll. One uh, that is a total eight uh, of 13. 12 on All the right. dice. Yeah, uh, roll that one die six. I did five. Uh, well, you hear a, a, a squeal as you uh, pluck and kill one of those rats immediately. 
and then the entire swarm starts going toward the, the group. Yeah. Right. Okay. A lot of them. Roll for a knit. Whoever's, I think it still see us hers, right? Yes. Oh, I lost. Oh, okay. So we go to, uh, we go, George, you're a knit, please. All right. D6, right? Yep. Tom, what's 3,200, man? Great. A, <clears throat> one. You got it. Anyone want to do anything here? Amy, you're up first. There's a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of them. Yes, I'm thinking this might be a good place to use my sleep spell because it, <laughs> it's in a area and instead of fighting them, just put them to sleep. So, um, roll four to 16, four die four. Okay, I only have one d4, so I'll have to roll four That's times. Okay. So we have a one. Okay. Oh. A three. Mm hmm. We have a four. Got it. Set. That's eight so far. Eight. And we have a two. So that's ten. Perfectly average. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with average. I am going to. Uh, so that. Slept. Uh, all but five, which is good because rats don't wake themselves up, right? Other rats. Uh, so it's not like it, this is probably the best use you could have for that spell. That's why I said it was Great taking job. It, it was taking it was nice. good. Now this is simultaneous. So I'm not going to allow if you shoot missiles um, at the other. Uh, I have rat figures, but I'm thinking to myself, uh, you know, they're giant rats. These are not giant. So I'm just using four sided dice to represent these. So um, if you do a missile shot, you're going to have a one in four, no, a one in three shot of actually hitting one that's moving forward at this point, right, as it's all going. So well, um, what did, does anyone else want to do anything? You can try. You may just shoot one that's going to sleep at the same time, right? <clears throat> no, so, I, I'll swap to, back to my sword and shield. Okay. Anyone going anyone? battle axe. Yeah. All right. So I, don't, I, don't want these, uh, these I want to know who's moving forward to fight any that are coming. Well, put me ten feet. You know the rule of ten, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, mm -hmm. so um, you're you're right there anyway. So you're gonna have one come on you. Anyone else yeah. who wants to uh, take a rat okay. that's coming in? Aristide. Aristide, you're right there. So you're probably gonna get two actually. Wisconsin, yeah, move up if he can. Okay. What's that? Did Lindara say something too? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll cut a couple up. All right. That will come up and cover our flank with his spear. Okay, yeah, I'll be... move up to the side, the Over, other side. Like that, Matt? Yeah. Okay, and uh, so, Laura Lee, you, the <laughs> last one will be on you. So there you go. So uh, the front five all have, have, and he, and actually the, the Barbarian Clerk can assist Laura Lee and attack next round, and Matt, you can help a Searsha and attack next round. So you got only five rats came out of that whole swarm. Yeah, that was good job. Best use of that uh, sleep spell yeah. we could have had. <laughs> Great to use. That's why when she took sleep, when when Amy took sleep, uh, sleep, I'm like, wow, that may be a good <laughs> a good use of a spell. I mean, fantastic. I think it's a, one of the most useful first level spells that you can have. Yes. Well, if there if this adventure was all undead, then it wouldn't have been though, right? Right. That was the, That's why that was really cool that you did that. So yeah, uh, good job. smart move. Give me an initiative, please. Oh, Jay, we can't attack. Nope, it's all. Oh, because they were moving up. Yeah, mm -hmm. Next round. Yep. Gotcha. Oh, brand new. George again. George, if he won, yeah, George again. Absolutely. Oh, three. Being very average. <laughs> Two. He only yes. rolls good against me. <laughs> so we'll go straight across this way. So, uh, Searsha, you can go first. Armor class okay. eight. Armor class eight. One uh, lower. One lower you need. So fighters need twelves. Uh, thieves need 13s. And I got a 13 damage. for four points of damage. Okay, roll, uh, Matt. You are up as well. You can do your attacks if you wish on the same one. Okay. Primary? Yep. A one. Fumble! That's it. Oh. Roll the fumble. Unless you want to... You do not have a special hero point. Yep. Don't no, hit I don't. attack. Percentiles. Yes. Gotta love it. 61. Uh-oh. Bad. Oh, 
I think uh, we're doing more damage good. to ourselves. Yeah. You're crying. So, <laughs> so awesome. Some yeah. of us need some more training. You're like, oh, and you. The dark. You, uh, you go to like stab with it because you're used to not slashing and, and you, your weapon goes into the muck and you throw it into the muck. <laughs> oh, my, my plus one long sword. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> or short sword. You're track like, weapon, ah! track weapon. Now it was simultaneous. <laughs> Seriously killed it anyway. Whoops, I just knocked you over. <laughs> Yes. It's oh, moving. So there you go. All right. So next, Sconce, you're up. Sconce. 13. Damage. 13 total? 13 total. Exactly. Oh, okay. You need 12. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, five with the hammer. Dead. Squished. Wee! Aristide. One attack. All right. Um... <laughs> Plus two to hit, so uh, 11 total. Missed by one. Missed by one on that. I believe you need 12. Yep, missed by one. Uh, Lindara, two attacks. Short okay. sword, short sword. Primary sword is nine, and secondary is five. Both missed. Mosquitoes. Laurel Lee. All right, uh, so she's going to switch to her longbow. You and. You're engaging melee with a rat jumping on you. Right here. Right. There's a rat on you. Can't shoot in melee combat. That's what I said. She's switching to her long. Or, oh, I'm sorry. I meant switching to her long sword. Oh, that's okay. No problem. No problem. Oh, very cool. Just swing. It's okay. Not a problem. Roll, roll your attack. Oh. All righty. So her long sword is. Plus one to hit. Plus one to hit. So I, I think I probably missed with an eight. Miss. The the barbarian clerk is close enough to stab it and engage uh, engage and stab it with a spear if he so chooses. I so choose. Okay, roll to hit. I'm gonna gig that rat, but not today. Right, you're plus one hit. I rolled plus a four. Damage, miss. I rolled a four. All I, right. I rolled poorly. Boit attack. The glory is not to be for me. It is to our, be for the maiden dice, warrior. Our dice are. Also, first and second level this morning. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay. Okay. Start. Okay. My dice hate me. I was going to pay for it later. To this point, I have not hit with a, with a monster yet. Only you've done damage to your party with a fumble. I have not oh, hit yeah. yet. So uh, here comes the attack on, Aris, uh, on Aristide. A, right, a rat bite. 16. I finally hit. Wait. One point of damage. Make a saving throw, please, versus poison. Versus poison. That's a 20. I rolled an 11. Um, remember, dwarves have... Uh, you You needed a 10, so you made it. If if I sometimes just make people roll out of paranoia, too. So, Lindara, uh, an 11. That misses. And Laura Lee, I fumbled. Yeah. That fumble... <laughs> 82. Bites himself. Bites scary. his own head off. <laughs> That's oh, what 82 is. I remember and that gets one. disease. <laughs> it's a monster fumble. It's got a hit friend normal. Unfortunately, there's nothing close enough. So, uh, But that's okay. So uh, thank you, Skagath. I hope your game went well. Um, all, great to see you. Skagath had a uh, had the, the opening had the opening game for uh, Greyalcon this morning. Thank you for coming in. Really appreciate it. And uh, the, we're fighting a rat, a giant rat swarm that uh, Laura Lee uh, slept most of it, which was great. So now we are on a new initiative round. That All I right. Lost, so roll again, please. Uh oh, one. Four. Same attacks, same three. Here we go. Aristide. Aristide. Four miss. Lindara. Critical hit. Oh. You, do, you do not have, do you have a special nope nope there's four specials in the party right now and that's it we're 22 hero points away from another one the critical hit is uh here we go these can be nasty man these can be really really nasty here we go what is it especially our level what is it uh, like the horrible uh, rabbit you, yes exactly but you are you are lucky it's only triple yeah. uh, oh <laughs> 
Do I have the option to give one of my specials to another character? If it's a life and death e ending situation, sometimes I'm kind, but uh, not at this point for, you know, okay. but maybe, maybe if... Uh, maybe later. Were, maybe later. later. Uh, uh, so five points from a triple damage bite on Lindara, who's now down to 19, and please make a poison save. You do have three hero points. Nice. Regulars. Uh all right, uh, what, what am I rolling for the... Oh, wait a minute, I got a chart need, right here. You need to make a saving throw, a poison save, and your poison save is 14. All right, here we go. You want to use a regular... You got three regular hero points. Um, yeah, let's use one of them. Okay, now you need a 13. All right, um, 11. Oh, okay, that was a failure, so you're not sure what that did. What, oh, what happened? All right, now what's going on? So you, you got bit by a rat. You didn't like that. Like, ah! Okay. Yeah, Tom, I have rats, but they're just giants. These, are, So, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, I, I have rats, but this is a little bit easier to use that for for this. Yeah, we're, um, we're going to need to disinfect that. <laughs> <laughs> Laurel Lee, uh, attack on you, and a two misses. So there we go. So now, this is, this is how we determine. Fight, we usually do... I went this way because there's fighting going on. I'll go in reverse because that the, these three characters are free. All right, so let's start here. We start with Laura Lee, and uh, you could swing. All right, and that's what she's gonna do. So natural twenty critical <laughs> hits. All right, roll the critical hit, please. All right. Uh, fifty-six. Double. Two die eight plus one damage. Alrighty, two die eight. As she's doing that, guys, whenever you roll a crit attack, just immediately roll percentage dice. Yep, mm -hmm. absolutely, absolutely. All right, so we've got a, a roll to seven. So eight that, points. Not and bad. Then, oh, and oh, eight. oh! So you did seven. You did sixteen. You you rolled two dice. You rolled okay. Oh my gosh! Uh, I rolled seven and I rolled an eight. Was it eight? If they died. Plus one, right? Seven, eight, plus one, sixteen, right? Or just, yeah. He yeah. he took your first seven, Amy, to mean your Double total it. damage. Yes, yeah, so you oh. rolled a seven and eight and a one. You did sixteen. Nice. Uh, you, uh, roll your attack. It's simultaneous. Zafnaf. I mean, you cut it into the. Uh, you, if it's you cut it right in half, but it's Zafnaf. It's simultaneous. Roll your attack, please. Here's a big difference between 5e and, and 1e, 2e, right? You individual initiative, then Zafnaf could run off and attack something else. It's all it's all something. Right. Well, but, since it's simultaneous and it really doesn't matter, this is when I rolled an 18. Yes. Well, then you, you stabbed it. So, you, so half of it's on your spear and the other half is cut. Uh, you know, it's cut in thirds almost. So, pulled half a rat. Yeah. I feel brave. Yes. <laughs> Lizara, three attacks. Long, primary, secondary, primary. We on? Yes. Uh, uh, Tim, you can roll your three attacks. Okay. Primary, secondary, primary. Skagath, primary. my pleasure. I'm so happy that it went great. Maybe you made some new friends and some new players. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, I have a 16, a 3, and a 6. One hit. One die, a 6 plus 3. Uh, two. Five three. points. Killed it. <clears throat> um, Aristide, you get two attacks, and Sconce, you, uh, uh, you're you close enough to engage and swing this round. You're within 10. Yes, right, so I'll, I'll Aristide do that. Aristide goes first. Roll your two attacks. Because it's a two attack first, round for him. First attack is an unnatural 20. Okay. And second attack uh, is a. Is a nat one? Yes, oh. again. Scott so, backs off real quick. Well, roll, <laughs> yeah, I'm not there this time. Roll your damage, please. Die uh, uh, eight plus five. Uh, there's no real stop, damage. drop, and roll. There's probably no reason to roll the damage, but die eight plus five. All <laughs> right, so se seven damage. Yes, it's dead. Roll your fumble, and then Scott roll your attack. It's fumbled again. Yes, uh, twelve uh, on the attack. You, you critical hit it? Yeah, it's dead. Uh, 12. I 12 got on it. the fumble. Yeah, you would have, uh, you would have splatted this thing. 
<laughs> Trip and Faust on one to six rounds automatic. <clears throat> so you're like, ah, and you, you just go face first into the muck. Ugh. Wow. Yes. So I, ro- I rolled a 74 on the fumble. Yeah, uh, trip and fall stun one to six rounds. Oh, no, that was the. No, that I'm sorry. That was the damage you did. The, the fumble was uh, lose uh, your secondary. Uh, you, you drop your shield on the ground by accident. So that's an action picking it up with the shields down on the ground. <clears throat> but the fight's over anyway. So there you I'm, go. So, uh, it, so you guys go splat at it. Now, you can carefully, you have time, you can kill all the other rest of the rats that are slept from the spell. Right? You can go up and kill them all easily because they, like I said, they're not like humanoids and they're wake, awakening each other. They're I'm going to retrieve my precious sword yes, from the muck. Yes, you will retrieve it. And you got to step into that goop and it's pretty gross. You're like, Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Pick up my shield. Yeah, good. Have fun but with that. when you do that, uh, Matt, you like, there's some kind of goop covered something's in, 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 in like a bag or something in that muck. Some kind Ooh. of. I try and fish it out. You're gonna fish. You that fumbled out? your way into treasure. <laughs> <laughs> this is where their previous group fumbled something. I was something. not gonna search this muck. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, just make a dex roll. Okay. That's all you gotta do. I'm gonna die twenty. Nine. Okay, you don't slip and fall into it. So uh, you pull it out and you. Uh, you pull it out. It's just it's a bag about this size. Um, it's it's tightened. It's kind of like it looks like the size of a dice bag almost. So what do you do? Is there a tongue in it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you just open it up. You can do yep. whatever you want. You want to open I, it up? I, what? I'll open it. Sorry. Up. Yeah, it's your stuff. Yeah. Open it up. Yep. You open it up. Uh, there is some coinage inside that you see. Right? Somebody okay. else fumbled, I see. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. Well, whoever owns those coins may be a little further down in that. Yeah. Box. Yeah, I was gonna say, let's take a spear <laughs> and poke around. You poke around. There's probably uh, there's probably some skeleton bones in there. Some yeah. Uh, you don't know if they're feasting on that uh, whatever's in there anymore, but it's not animated though. Uh, so there's uh, there's the remains of a, a human male skeleton in there uh if there was anything worth other worthwhile it was wearing it's all long since rotted but this uh this uh bag was in pretty good shape um so uh inside you look and you find 82 silver pieces and four gold pieces okay we got some treasure guys i will put that in a party treasure here oh yeah Now, if uh, if Jason Zavoda was playing here, I'd throw in a little Jason Zavoda joke, but I, and, uh, normally, uh, or something like that, I would put his favorite one-liner of all time from an adventure from G1. He would find uh, in a little tube a note, and then and then you'd open it up, and it would, especially if there was a dwarf who read it. Here's a kiss for you, Runt. You remember that from G1, and uh, yeah, it said that in the bags you found uh, in in the. Uh, in the giant section just to, give uh, him, right, just to give him a little humor there all right so i need to hit the restroom real quick because i've been drinking too much coffee give me a minute and i'm gonna put on i'm gonna put the uh, gamescape 3d add on real quick how's that sound i'll be right back uh, sounds good all right sounds yeah, good be right can back. we good time for us to take a break too i think yeah yeah, yeah, yeah we'll be take right back. five minute here so yeah. yes talking that was talking during hammer public you're right absolutely that's cool yep be right back
dun, 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 dun. No man, I make it back in time. Oh, whew. voice is going. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say it, that much. The only. Th th What's that? The only, I was gonna say the only thing Jay doesn't have in his basement is an actual bathroom. Yes, that's true. Casey's been here. Casey has been here, so. I thought that that solve, uh, that uh, text was for me, and it doesn't look like it was. No, it was it was for me. Um, Back. Cool, cool. Yeah, a friend of mine. He knows that I'm in the middle of a game, but he had a question for me. So it's all good. No problem. Perfect time to text me. Good job on that sleep spell, by the way. Yeah. Mm, thanks. That you know, was that was key. I actually debated about whether to pick that or Magic Missile. Because I know that the undead figure prominently in Jay's game from <laughs> streams, but I didn't know for sure that that was going to be the case with this. So I, I took a chance and, and I'm glad I did. Yeah, that saved you a lot of heartache. But Yes. Yeah. So. <sighs> Death by a thousand bites. Yeah, no joke. Especially That's at this level. All right. I'm going to let my dog out. So, damage wise, I have. Aristide is off. Uh, it looks like Aristide's off one and uh, Lindara's off five. And that's it. And Aristide, uh, well, wait till everyone gets back. But So, um, hopefully, everyone uh, who's in the audience is watching is really enjoying, uh, enjoying uh, Greyhawk Con. Uh, and I'm going to, I'm going to say something, man, if you're on, you and Frank, I mean, that fr uh, Frank went <laughs> above and beyond yesterday with the terrain he printed out and the, 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 the presentation was unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. The, the, how, how, how great that barrier peaks looked. Yeah, uh, that was crazy. Oh my gosh. That was fantastic. Um, yeah, that was, that was just so unbelievable. Um, Jimmy Duffy's uh, um, slavers afterwards look great. Uh, you know, um, I'm glad Skagit had a great time with his group this morning. Uh, Blue Box is on after this. Uh, Wally Hobbit's on uh, as well after this. And then we got uh, we got tonight. Let's see if I got my shout out here set right. Um, we're just waiting for George to come back. Well, Jay, you set a good bar uh, for thank everybody. You. Thank you so much. For right sure. <laughs> really appreciate it. So, yeah, um, tonight the, the uh, tonight is the grand finale, uh, and it'll be a, a Grey, Greyhawk Ask the Experts. And we have, Anna and I will host, and we'll keep our mouths shut a lot, because we got Malden, Dennis Tetro. We got the great blogger, David Leonard. We got, hopefully, Gary Hulian. Um Coming on, we have Alan Grodal Growy. And then what would the night not be without Leonard on for a bit, right? That's right. <laughs> so, um, amongst and others. I got to pop on to uh, announce the winners of the BK tournament. Yes, you do. Yes, you next do. table's in two hours. Uh, We're good. So. We're good on time here. Yep. We're good on time here. So, uh, let's yeah. go kill the mausoleum. Right. Yeah. Everyone's here. Good. Okay. Unless you need me to build a fire and purge that uh, purge that infection. Oh yeah, poison. Hey Jay, just a reminder. I do have a one o'clock today that overlaps. So. Okay. Yes, you do. Absolutely. Just a reminder. Uh, absolutely. So. So. Um, and, hate to uh, leave the game, but. No, we no. We, time. we discussed that ahead of time too. Right. And uh, I will. I will take over if we're still. Go I'm assuming we're going to still be going. I will take over Sconce at that point. Okay. All right, so don't don't do not worry about that. I know right. I know Asher Asher, you're playing in Casey's. I am. Okay, cool. And, that, and that's right when we finish here. So yeah, two forty five Eastern would be good for us to. Yeah, we'll be done. We'll be done right about there, and then we're gonna hang a little bit, and we're gonna do the. Oh, I forgot the giveaway. Holy shit! Did you even turn it on? I I did drawing earlier and i didn't see anything happen yeah, I, I should have known by your tech let me do that right now uh, well i do it every time i'm on yeah absolutely bit of uh i haven't even opened up the twitch channel i guess i ought to do that mm. yes because this yeah is like a having nice the one. chat 
open. And yeah. So yeah, for it's... those of you who are new to doing this with Jay, one of the things you can do is obviously you're watching the game, hopefully in Zoom, so it's live. Do it again, Lord Fourth. But in Twitch, you can open it up and you can pop out the chat. Do it again, Lord Fourth. And, and then you can minimize the Twitch video, and you want to mute the Twitch audio so that you don't get wow. double audio. Because I, I did, I, I did that Sunday night. <laughs> I yeah. forgot to. Casey, do it again. Lord Fourth, do it again. You did it before it started. Oh, okay. Oh, Draco and Lord Fourth, do it again. Okay. So, um, this is go. this is another Reaper. Um, the Pirate <clears throat> IC's horror color set. You already a color set. Oh, that's kick ass. Yep. And here's the colors. Oh, that's kick ass. Yep. Oh, and got a little nice. reverb somewhere. Um, the colors go, we got our uh, ghost fire skull and crossbones chum red, <laughs> shark bite kraken ink and squad green. All right, there you go. Nice. Perfect for my ghost of salt marsh campaign nice if I win. Piece color set from Reaper. Um, and then we'll have some big giveaways tonight too on the final show. On the uh, ask the experts. Alrighty, so. Here's where we are. There's no damage to the group except Aristide's off one and Lindara's off five. And where that thing bit Lindara on her like leg down uh, right above her like boot, like maybe right here, um, you notice it's like uh, got a little pussy around the bite. That's infected. Yeah, it's gonna leave a mark. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need to get you to a hospital. A hospital. Yeah. Well, we know one thing. This place doesn't have a hospital. Yeah. <laughs> so dealing with poison at low-level <clears throat> clerics, I don't think we have anything that helps with poison. Oh, we don't. I was just going to suggest they plunge their hand in the fire to purge the infection. <laughs> I think it's a third-level spell. Yeah. Just... Uh, heat up a heat up a dagger. Uh... I mean, just I mean, slowing can... it is a second level cleric spell. None of us are third level. Yeah, we yeah. don't. We have nothing for it. Yeah, sorry. Don't die. <laughs> Lindara, do not That's die. my medical advice. Yes. Okay. All righty. By the way, once again, we are 22. We are 22 uh, cheer away from another special hero point for the party. Just a heads up there. And let me. Oh, I should have moved this camera. You said, guys, I'm a little off my game here today. All right. Uh a great time, Jay. Don't worry about it. It's all good. I'm just happy there's water. <laughs> <laughs> Made your day. <laughs> yes. There was no water. There was no sewer water uh, um, there, Casey. That's the difference. Yeah. No, I get it. With the uh, dwarven forge terrain. Not the sewer water. So. Uh, all right. <laughs> you see. A long road that leads to. We'll skirt the edge of the rat pond. Fencing. Yeah, I think we're all approaching in formation. Not walking straight up. Oh, well, they, Tim. Jay, sorry, man. Here's. here's uh, oh, Tim just gave me a, a special hero Tim, point. Tim, don't, don't oh. end the peace <laughs> treaty now. <laughs> I'm warning Special you. Special hero point to the DM so I feel better. That was very All nice right. of you, Ever Mysterious Tim. So hopefully, yeah, we'll see if I get to utilize that. Um, Here any, it goes. Anytime in the near future. <clears throat> that is pretty good. So here we go. As we're moving forward, I'll put you back in your formation order here. Dun, 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 dun. And then we had Sconson Lindara in the second rank, and then we had... Zafnath and and Matt. I have it's funny how I called Matt Tom. That's really funny. In his uh, in this rank. See, you know, yeah. those turn those turn skeletons yeah. are, are, are gone. There's a time for you to. There we go. And then you see you see up ahead a fence that's closed. By the way, you see a closed fence. Okay. Somebody's got the key, so. True, true. True, true. Okay, well, I'm continuing to approach with my weapon out, and okay. when we get to the fence, I'm going to look at, uh, I'm sorry, who is our thief rogue type? 
That's me, Matt. Matt. Yeah, I'm going to look at you and be like, you know, do you want to check and see if it's locked and or trapped? Because that's not my thing. It, yeah, I'll, I'll check for traps. Okay. It so... should be locked. We have a key. Yes. Check for traps first. If it's first. not, though. <laughs> so you're going to come up here? Yes, and see if this uh, fencing is uh, is locked. And uh, you got your thief ability here. Got yeah. Oh, ability. that's right. We got the key, but I'm just being paranoid. You do not find any traps on it, but there is a lock on it. Definitely. Yeah, there is a lock. Let's try the key. I think the and dwarf use, has the key, right? Yep, I will use the key to try the lock. Aristide goes up. And I'll move the rest of the party up. Yeah, Searsha will be... Uh, Right next to a uh, sconce with the key. No, Aristide. No. Aristide. Oh, and Aristide is the one who's been fumbling. I will not stand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's how he does on the key lock. Oh, sconce. I mean, oh, Skagit. That was unbelievable, man. Thank. Ten gift subs. Holy schmolies, man. Thank you so very much. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. It's awesome. Really, um, really fantastic. While uh, while they're working on the, the lock, uh, Laura, he's keeping a watch out around them to make sure that uh, they're not trying to sneak up on them while other people are yes. focused. Before. So he, he he unlocks it, and it's funny you say that. I, unfortunately, by the way, these are all <laughs> these are all Reaper miniature pieces. Okay, so Reaper makes these sets, and then Bill painted them up and, and made them look nice. So you can build a lot of things with these uh, fencing with the fencing. Um, and they're not that expensive, so check them out. Mm -hmm. It's really, uh, like I said, Reaper makes some good things out there. And I imagine you could get these in some 3D prints as well in other places, but it's really, really some cool things you can build some setups with. So, um, at, this is going to go on a little bit, that music over and over again. I apologize. I know. Well, you have it turned down. What's that? Which is great. Yeah. 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 What's that? You, you have the volume on it turned way down. Which yeah, is I good. did that. So that's fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Very awesome. So uh, you have your group here, and the minute you do that, and you hear a click. It's like that was almost like a, a snap to order. Things just start coming out of this. Looks like it's a swampy, swampy. <clears throat> you see, there's it's like really sunk in in front mm -hmm. of the mausoleum, right? So I'm gonna put keep this one on this angle here. I'm trying to get the whole, like, but. You see, there's a swampy land back here, too, right there. All righty. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good point, uh, Amy, of saying, hmm. <laughs> yeah, the camera is showing that at both. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh, my gosh. That's OK, Amy. You're, you're between me and uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> Not that there's anything over there. No. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Uh, so out of the out of the muck, you see those. They look like skeletons again. But unfortunately, uh. that's not all. <clears throat> They're not murlocs, are they? Nah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that would be you know I love Murlocs, right? I know. Murlocs yeah. are the, the one wow monster that I, I I just love more than life itself is the Murloc. Yes, um, and uh, those look like Walking Dead men. Yes, and they also they may even be orc undead orc looking zombie type things, um, and they're kind of falling apart almost. But then from inside here, let me put some stuff in to give you full perspective. Just because, uh, you know, see, Jay likes to split the party up in fights, too, right? So, um, that was the bad key, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was somebody not putting WD 40 on the hinges of the gate. You have the wrong out. key. Another fumble. <laughs> All right. So, there you go. You see skeletons and zombies pop pull up from both both spots now i'm going to be uh, nice on the first round only and give you initiative 
Remember, if these are two zombies, they always go last. So we may have a little bit of a split initiative situation. Well, there was a cutscene, Jay. They rose up from the ground on their turn. <laughs> yes, exactly. So you guys win initiative automatically. So I'm going to start uh, in the back. I'm going to start with Zafnath. Well, you know what I'm going to do. Yes. Oh, uh, pull out the rattle. I want to know who you're Invoke the Reaper. I want to get their attention. At. Turn who's them. Attempt to turn. Uh, I want to attempt to turn the. Uh, do Who's I have up? to? I have to choose one type of creature. Yeah, you got to choose a type of creature and within range, which means only these back here. So. I think I want the zombies to go. Okay, you're gonna attempt to turn the zombies. You need uh, what do you need? Uh, you need a thirteen, I believe, right? Eighteen. All right. Roll Thought on. I rolled my D twelve for a moment, and then I saw an eighteen on it. I'm like, roll well, there's no eighteen on a D twelve. Roll that twelve. And, and now I roll a D twelve. Okay, come on. Seven. Okay, so you see these, uh, they like bury themselves into the muck. Back where you came from. Nice. Tom, I'm sorry, Matt. Oh my God, I did it again. <laughs> Matt. Uh, hey. There's skeletons over there that have not been, you know, as, as you see, the zombies are burying themselves in. <clears throat> now, you want to knit, you could say delay and just and then do your action very last out of everything if you don't know what you'd like to do with it. I mean, you know, the clerics are all going to try and turn. Yeah, so I'm going right. to hold and, and be ready, wait okay. for them to approach. Scott. So Scott sees a couple of zombies go down on that little yeah, hill you area. Want, you want to try and turn the, the, the skeletons over here? I'm going to go with the skeletons, okay. yes, sir. Uh, 15. Roll one die 12. You did a seven. You guys have not, you've only failed one turn attempt Ooh. the whole time. Ooh, only five. Five. Well, there's not that many there. So, so the, these actually run, they start running away from the turn, not like the zombies that bury themselves in. So, the turning seems to have worked on all the things on the outside. What's, I'll go to Searsha next. What's Searsha going to do? Uh, she's going to step forward 10 feet towards the gate and present her holy symbol. And, t and tell them, you know, by the power of the summoner, return to your rest. Uh, going for the skeletons. Roll. I don't know if there's anything other than skeletons there's in there. zombies in there, too. She's going for the easiest ones to turn. But she gets an 8, and she needed a 10. So. Need a rattle. I'm just telling I'd, you. Yeah, I'm beginning to think that, too. So now we'll do non. So we'll go back. We'll, we'll do everyone else in the group. So Aristide, what would you like to do? You, the uh, gate's open. All right. Um, Unfortunately, I will. I don't have an opening gate here. I guess I can go like now. I don't. Yeah, you get the idea. The gate's open. You want to go in? Yeah, I will go in. Do you? Uh, when you get to that point, the you, uh, <clears throat> skeletons will probably engage you. So is that okay right there for movement, or do you want to go into the muck? No, I'm not going into All right, the muck. So, yeah, because this area where you see it, this is yeah, that's the swampy, mucky area, obviously. Am I behind like any kind of terrain or anything? I well, you don't think any of them have missile weapons, so okay. yes, at this point, I'm just kidding. So uh, just have, uh, Laura just Lee? have my axe out. Yep, Laura Lee, what would you like to do? Okay, Laura Lee is going to she'll move through the gate and then to the to the left side, just a little bit, just so that not that far forward, um, because she's trying to make it so that other people can get in. Good. Not have a friend in the way and she's going to shoot two arrows you move more than 10 yeah you move more than 10 feet oh okay i'm sorry then so then that's it for my notice all the clerics in the back have not or, or where are staying where they are at, at this point due to actions and you guys moving in is your action so we go to lindara lindara hey i know it's it's um you're up what would you like to do lindara uh, I'm going to do exactly the opposite. I'm going to go inside the gate and I'm going to go to the right. And Very I'm nicely not... done for, for both of you. Very nicely done to consider the others getting in. That leaves just Matt Shoutlane. Matt, what would you like to do? So I'll move in to the gate as well and off to the right if I can get past. Yeah, do you want to do your full movement rate or do you want to, um, do you want to try and uh, stealthily do this? I'll do it stealthily. You can use your obscure, obscure shadow at this point if you so choose. Um, your only spell. Yeah, I think I'll save it. Okay, so you're gonna. All right, so you're stealthily, you actually get to the gate opening because that's half movement rate. Okay. Yeah. Let me roll your hiding shadows. 
Okay. So, round is over for you. My actions, you have you have a skeleton comes up here. A skeleton comes up here. And Lorely gets lucky, and the skeleton goes, two of them go to the dwarf. The, uh, the, the zombies move slowly. That's not a zombie. Duh. I just, I just realized I pulled something out that was not a zombie. Okay, so there you go. Um, next round. I'm talking to myself. I'm sorry. Next round. Um, round is over. So we got, we got engaged here and there. Everyone else is clear right now. You've dealt with the outside presence, it seems like, for the time being. So you're not worried maybe about com stuff coming up from behind you, but you never know. So give me, now we roll for a knit. Now remember, this does not count the zombies who moved last. So uh, whose was it last? I mean, you're all jumbled up. So um, from last time, who, uh, I think I won the last in knit, if I recall, with the rat, correct? I think that's uh, correct. All right. Least, yeah. All right, go ahead, go ahead there, Amy. You haven't rolled yet, right? Yeah, uh, what do I roll? D6? D6 for a knit. Oh. Five. Yeah, six. Yeah. Remember, if you, you wanted to use a special, this isn't like life or death here, but you have zombies moving forward, and um, they will go last, but here. Yeah, <clears throat> I, I, I'm not sure that this is a good place to use a special. Especially yeah, not with I, the I odds of rolling a six. Yeah. Just for a reroll. Yeah. No, Three. yeah, it would just bump your five up to a six for a tie, and then you would roll again, and he could yep. hit you. That just seems like a waste. Right. Two swings on Aristide from Skeletons. Nine misses. Eight misses. One swing on Lindara. Skeleton. Fourteen. Her armor class is... Um, I'm assuming you're fighting two-fisted at this point, so your armor class is three. I still think that misses. I missed... But yeah, I missed. I missed. <clears throat> Alrighty, so I, I did nothing. Zombies go last. Wow. I might approach. use your shield. You've got a lot of... You don't have a lot of hit points, right? Oh, well, she does. She's second level. Oh, right. she had, she's down to 19 with the damage. So, uh, Aristide, you're up first. you want to swing at one of the two skeletons on you? Uh, yeah, I will. <laughs> and then just a quick shout out to my son, Paxson, watching on oh, awesome. Twitch. All right. That is awesome. <clears throat> And I got a 16 plus 2, so 18 to hit. Die 8 plus 5 halved. Okay, 7 plus 5, uh, 12, so 6 points of damage. So close, but yet so far. Still up. Lindara, two attacks. Okay. I'm going to shoot. Uh, Lindara. Linda. Oh, I'm... <laughs> you know, I have a character with that name. and that's No way. Saying. Really? <laughs> Huh. All right. <laughs> that is awesome. Go ahead, Lindara. Short sword, short sword. Short sword, short sword. I got a six and a 16. One hit. Your secondary hand always hits. Die six plus zero head. All right. Got a three. All right. I'm going to round up because I feel generous. I'm going to let you. <laughs> <laughs> now you're up. Now you're up, Laura Lee. You can shoot now with your bow or do whatever you'd like. Uh, Amy, you are up to go. Okay, so I'm going to shoot two arrows. I'm going to shoot uh, at one at him and one at the one behind him. Okay, that splits uh, your minus two to hit in the secondary target and one E2E. Okay. You can do that. Uh, Remember, they're, they're zombies. Zombies tend to have two hit dice in in uh, in one E2E as well. So I'd, I'd go ahead feather two at one. All right, um, I'll, I'll do that. Um, I, I kind of have an you know, experiment in mind, but yeah, um, that's okay. What, what would you like? Would you like to use regular arrows or your masterworks? So she's going to use one regular arrow and one masterwork. Okay, which one are you, are you find your masterwork first or second? She's going to fire the masterwork first. Okay. Well, um, and go. she'll do it at the zombie that's closer to her, so she doesn't take plus the... four on the first one, plus three on the second one. Okay. So, ugh. um. Five plus four. Miss. And second one. Now oh, that was a waste. Plus three. Uh, Fifteen plus three is eighteen. Damage. Die six plus zero. Okay. Four. That was me. Sorry about that. Oh, gosh. I just got a text from Joanne Fabrics. <laughs> what? Your order's out of the way. <laughs> You know why? Because they had a huge sale on uh, on 3D print spools 
because we bought a bunch. Now I get about getting, uh, you know, we bought, believe it or not, I I wouldn't even have known that they sold uh, sold that stuff till we went there. So yeah, blow, yeah. Oh, Stella, it's been blowing up your phone too. That's so funny. <laughs> hey, I'm glad to see you on too. That's that's awesome. Thank you. I owe you and your dad a game too. So I definitely do. Uh, Matt, you're up. Okay, I'm going to sneak in around um, stealthy again to the left. Six-inch movement rate it gets you about there. Okay? Okay. All righty. Um, Searsha. <clears throat> uh, we don't see any other big boss types coming out yet, do we? No, there's no bosses. Come on. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so just uh, I'm, I'm debating casting Bless. But uh, I think we just have mooks in front of us, so I'm not sure I want to do that. I can't try and turn the zombies, right? I tried to turn the skeletons and failed. Um, can I try for the zombies? Yes, you can, sure. but I didn't tell you something. Oh, well, I minus, need to know there, something. For some reason, there's a huge minus on your turn inside the uh, area of the fence. But, oh, but roll, there's a what? No, oh, it's desecrated. It's a desecrated ground here. Well, yeah. So you can do it. You really need to get a priest out you here. You get an awful, well, awful feeling that you would may not have been successful even with the skeleton turn, but you can do it again if you want to try it. No, no. So given that and being a cleric, do I know that if I cast Bless, Bless can I do anything the to the desecration? Uh, no, that doesn't work that way. That It would be a consecrate spell, right? Yep. Okay, I don't have that. Bless is six rounds, man. It can't hurt. Yeah, I know, but I'm waiting for the – these are just mooks. Mooks, Wait, right. mooks can critical guy. hit too. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jay. What'd you say? Mooks can critical hit too. <laughs> yeah, but a bless doesn't prevent a crit. It doesn't. You're right. Um, I, I'll move forward ten feet, and to hell with it. I'll I'll just cast bless so there that I don't go. have to cast it later. Everyone's blessed for six rounds. Thank you for your blessing. And take the blessings of the summoner. Scots. So yeah. that, that hill looks clear, as far as we can tell. Yeah. You yeah, so Scott's will kind of... Scott's will move as far as he can into... Um, Nine-inch movement, correct? Yes, right, into this, that area, that and he'll try to turn set, next round. seven right there. Where would you like to go? There's two skeletons right here fighting, if you wish. I won't be able to attack, though, correct? No. I just move inside the gate to the right. Okay, I will try to turn next round. By 12 inch movement, I'm going to get the hell into dodge. Okay. Because uh, I, I'm not going to move into engage unless there's a giant hole in our defenses. Well, that, that's eight inches right there. So uh, is that good enough? Hold on. I was looking at the wrong one. Da, 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 da. Trying to get it close up. Yeah, that's good enough. And I uh, ready my spear and shield to defend myself against the dead men walking. At the end of the round, well, I haven't done the zombie movement yet. Do, so. Does it look like these are the same undead critters from outside, or does it look the, like there's these, holes in the graves? No, these these do these kind of do, but but um, you're gonna have. Let me. Uh, good question. Zombie comes forward here and uh, engages on Laurel Lee. This zombie uh, goes forward and engages Scots. This zombie here um, can not make it, all right? But it's within 10 feet next round on Lindara as the other two start moving forward. But things come out of the uh, opening of the mausoleum this round. All right? Uh-oh. Here comes the boss I was waiting for. <laughs> Triggered by the bus spell. Yeah. I don't, it might, might have been. I might, might have woke him up. And you see armored skeletons come out. Mm. Where's Junior? In, in, in a line. Yeah, exactly. In a line. And uh, uh, let's... Uh, I'll put or Mom, up. right? Mom, the undead witch? Yeah. That's yeah, the wife you, of you, the uh, person that got killed. You tell me when this happens. If you saw the banner... Under Welcome to Neural Headhunters, I had a, a something. Does anyone remember what I said in the banner? An ode to Leonard Lacoste. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, so you let me know when you think that happens. These look like armored skeletons. <clears throat> um, let's see. Who's the smartest person in the party? 
We'll have uh, we'll have uh, Matt make it make an intelligence roll, Matt. You're pretty smart. Okay. Well, the six. Yeah, you made it easily. These are probably the militiamen. That used to oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So. The ones that just came out of the mausoleum. Yes, and they lined up like in a defensive formation like that. So. <laughs> Yes, they do. Now, round is over. Remember, zombies always go last, but let's roll for a knit. Um, I did win that round. So who hasn't rolled for initiative yet? I haven't. All right, roll it up there, Dwayne. Beat a four. Three. That didn't work. <laughs> so, do you have a special? I mean, nah, maybe not. Here, no, but. I don't. All right, so we got three. All I have first now is three regular skeleton attacks. That's it. The zombies go last, so... Uh, two attacks on Aristide against Skeleton. Six miss. Eleven miss. Man, I'm rolling terribly. On Lindara. Um, Eighteen hits. Skeleton. Uh, a whole one. One point. You're down to 18. All right. They delay back there. So that means I can react after the zombie move. So we start with combat. Aristide, two swings. Roll. Right. Let's see first. Everyone, the bless adds plus one to your deck. Yeah, everyone, plus one hit, plus one and saves. Okay, so that's going to be a, a natural 20. And nice. second attack, um, 317. Okay. Uh, so tw 20 and 17. We normally, I want to um, see what we got. We got an hour. So you, you it shatters. Two hits, critical. You're going to do like 30 points of damage. Um, half damage, 15, you, and you already damaged it last round, I got. Uh, uh, it had one hit point left. You slaughtered it with a critical hit and a second hit. You feel real good about yourself now. You're like, wow. Woohoo! And Dara, three attacks on the skeleton you were fighting. All right. Short sword primary, secondary primary. Uh, first one is 19, second one is 7, and the third one is a 1 natural. Oh, you hit once. One by six plus three have, and then we'll roll the fumble. He has no specials. Okay, the six sider is a three. Three plus three have. Uh, you actually killed that one because you hit it. You dinked it last round. You're lucky with that. And now roll the now roll the fumble. So right now the four hero points. One lies in Laurel Lee, one Sirsha, and two with Zachna. Roll the fumble, please, on percentile. Uh, 51. So this is where this could get bad, right in the middle of a key fight. 51. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, make a dex roll on a die 20 against your dexterity. Okay, my dexterity is 18, and my roll is 9. Okay, uh, it was uh, weapon is not knocked away, unlike Matt's the other time, which was automatic. That one, you got a dex roll, and you made it. All right, now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna work this way. Sconce, you have a zombie on you. Uh, I'm gonna take a pop at him. Armor class is eight. It's one worse, so you need a base uh, twelve without pluses. Uh, no, sir, seven on the die. Miss, big swing and a miss. Uh, Sirsha, you're up. Uh, Sirsha plants her sword in the ground, reaches into her belt pouch. Grabs a vial of holy water and dumps it all over herself and casts protection from evil. Okay, there you go. Awesome. I wanted to narrate the uh, like Luke. Yes, that was awesome. Last night. Um, all right, so you're protected for six rounds. Uh, nine. It's three rounds per level and one e. You're second. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm thinking I'm a. Uh, Combining the two classes, no, I apologize. No. This is this isn't Pathfinder. I'm sorry. Or no, no, that was just me five. being dumb. <laughs> so uh, Chuck Troller Games, thanks you for that. That puts us over for another special, special hero point. Uh, Chuck, you're gonna give it to me, right? No, you're not. So <laughs> um, this goes to Lindara. You got a special now. Right. Three. There you go. All right, so you're protected from evil, Sirsha, P.E. for six rounds. All right, next, uh, Zaphnath. You are close enough to help swing with Laura Lee if you so choose. You're not engaged, though. What's she fighting? A zombie. Do I have to use slashing against zombies? I can't remember. No, no. A spear works yeah, fine? 
Absolutely. In that case, I'm going to stick my spear into the zombie plus two if I to hit can. now because of the bless spell. So there you nice. go. Nice. Fourteen. Oh, he did see. Fourteen. Hit. Die six right. plus two. And it's a plus one spear. Yeah, I got that. Die six plus two. I rolled a six. So eight points. Still up. Uh. Lorely. Hey. Uh, I'm going to switch to my long sword mm -hmm. and uh, hit the zombie that's plus decided two, to get ready. Plus two to hit now because of the bless. Okay. Finish it off. Damn! Another natural 20. Nice. Roll the critical <laughs> hit. Roll the crit. Yes. She doesn't do a lot of damage on it. She only does plus one. That's why I'm going to make her roll the crit out on this. It may not kill it, but probably will. Oh, feet. Jay, while she's doing that, move me up to 10 feet. Searcher yep. would have crept towards that zombie, I believe. Yeah, just to get close enough to I, engage. I agree, man. I agree. What's, what'd you roll there, uh, uh 13. 13. Weapon arm struck, weapon knocked away. That's automatic double damage. It doesn't have a weapon. So double. So two die eight plus one. Two die. Ah, sorry, oh. my cat thinks I'm, she's playing with me as I'm trying to pick up my dice. Uh, don't. Don't roll low. No, no, do not want to well, roll. Well, don't jinx it, Jay. Come on. Don't roll low. <laughs> okay, so for the first roll, I rolled a five. Second roll, I rolled a four plus one. Ten points. That one nice. falls apart. Yeah. <clears throat> Good job. Nice. Matt, you are up. Okay, so what does the one look like that's in the middle? Is that a zombie or a skeleton? Zombie, zombie. Zombie and okay. the four skeletons. Okay, I'm going to keep skulking up on the right. Another 60, another six inches? Yeah. There you go. You're a Shadow Mage Thief, so you think uh, you can hide from undead pretty well as well. All right, so uh, your actions are done. Zombies' actions, which are last. Attack on Sconce, zombie. Uh, oh, 18, that hits. Oh. If I rolled a 19, I would have made it a crit courtesy of Tim, but uh, it, I didn't. Uh, five, four points, you're down to 15. This one swings at Lindara. Uh, 19. I feel... Uh, it hit. I'm not going to make it a crit right now. I'm going to hold off on that. Five points. You're at 13. All right. Both hit. These two zombies come in. Another one comes in. So Aristide's got a zombie and a skeleton on him now. And this one uh, moves in. Zafnath and Sirsha. And uh, at the end of the round, something else comes out of the mausoleum. Yes. The boss. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am pro bosses. Uh, uh, Ooh. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm Ooh, trying to get it. It won't can... focus. Uh, I'm trying to get it so you can. It's got a long, a long tongue. Uh, oh. Is that a morgue? M o h r g j. No, it's it's actually not. But okay. it comes out and it looks zombie like, <clears throat> and it 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 talks. Hint number one. It talks. Is and it surrender. Set... What's that? <laughs> <laughs> And it says, we just have to ask. It says, This is my town. Remember that. Oh, it's the uh, it's the, the elder, elder, um, elder, elder, elder Kanich. 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 From inside the mausoleum, you hear a shrillish voice. Remember who the real power is. The bickering, <laughs> even in so, death. <laughs> Take out the garbage. <laughs> Not a witch on your wife. <laughs> so that is uh, that is he um, a do list for him. <laughs> roll for a nit. Uh, I believe um, um, you lost that one again, right? Yes. Who has not yeah. rolled yet? Uh, I have not. Uh, I have Jeffrey, not. Go ahead, Casey. Go, Casey. Can go. I go. No, no, no. I always go last on the initiative yeah. roll. Typically. Uh, three. Uh, four. Oh. You don't have a special. You probably wouldn't want to use it there. Anyway. No, it'll just tie it, right? Uh, and then two, you have to re-roll. Uh, we got one. Use the special when you've tied it. One skeleton. Uh, the skeleton uh, rolled an 18 and hits. I'm starting to get luckier now. Three points on 
Uh, Aristide, you're down to 217. Okay? 17. Yeah. Yep. Zombies go last. They delay. Do I hang in? He casts a spell. Mm. <clears throat> he casts a spell. And it goes on the who he thinks is the biggest threat. Aristide. <laughs> you get magic missiled. Pew, pew, pew. How many magic missiles? Two. 19. Two magic missiles for six points. You're down Ouch. to 11. And then you see this step out and say the same thing again. Remember who the real power is? <laughs> <laughs> she looks, okay. She All looks right. now completely skeletal with some organs and a tongue. Yeah, it's not focusing. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, it's, there you go. Uh, there you go. That's still better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So she steps out. Come on, guys. Yeah, we'll get a good look at her shortly. <laughs> yeah. I, within the next 30 seconds, so anyone can tell me the ode to Leonard Lakafka, I will give a special hero point. Oh, jeez. Is I mean, the I Princess think the, Bride his favorite movie? Zombies, but I don't think <laughs> What's that? No, this, is, this has to do with a module he, has, he wrote. Secret of Bone Hill. Okay, and what about it? Uh, keep going. I packed it up <laughs> for my condo sale. Anyone in the audience know? Anyone in the audience know? What's nope, in the so cover of the Secret of Bone Hill? Well, a skeleton there getting hit by lightning. Liam with 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 the skeletons. Right. There are two. Okay, I guess uh, a little education. There are hey Siri. Two, there are two <laughs> monsters in the Secret of Bone Hill that are undead. One is the Zombire. Uh, and one is the Skelter. Yeah. Uh, there you gotcha. go. That's what they are. One's a Zombire and one's a Skelter. Okay. Not, Someone and, in the chat, look up their stats and post them for us. Uh, the one's right on the cover getting zapped. That's I yeah. think that's the skelter getting zapped on the cover of Bone Hill. So that was the other here somewhere. And for some reason, they never made they <laughs> the never library. made it into any of the any other publications after that. So uh, yeah, that's my ode to oh, Leonard. Now, I am done except for the zombies and delay here. So we're going to start with Lindara. You have a zombie on you that will attack you afterwards. We're attacking less. So it's a, you get primary, secondary only. Because it's a new target, unroll your attacks, please. Remember, the bless is still on for um, four more rounds after this. Okay. So I have um, a three and a nine. Both missed. Even with a bless on, you need a you need a twelve, and they both missed. Uh, Scott, you have a zombie on you. Can I turn to zombies? Uh, you can attempt to. Yes, I will. Big minus. Roll. 13 on the die? 13 minus 6, 7 failed. In this consecrated ground, yep. b b uh, uh, unconsecrated ground. Uh, it did not work. All right. L all right. Uh, Aristide, skeleton or zombie this round? Uh, I. Which will I get? Two attacks on the skeleton since I was in combat with it previously, or would I get two on, on no, both? On the, they're both considered new targets because you killed one last round. Remember, you killed that um, that other one last round. So not uh, I'm going to go go zombie. Okay, roll on the class. It's easier to hit. Uh, 11 plus 3, so 14. That hits easily. Die 8 plus 5. Uh, eight total. Okay, still up. Uh, Searsha, you you can engage and swing at multiple things. Yeah, where's um, Aristide? He's down to eleven hit points, right? Yeah. Is he within the ten feet of me? Yeah, you can just touch him. He's right. In front well, of I'm not ready to heal him yet. He's gonna have to suck it up another round. But uh, <laughs> if I step forward diagonally, put you, me to his left. 
right. right? I'm forming like a shield wall thingy. No, no, not that far ahead. A little bit back. All right. Right in that gap right there. And then I've got, what, a, a zombie on my left? Who's that Yeah, attacking? there's already two on that one, but you want to take it out this round. You could, All three, you could swing at that one, sure. Um, uh, though They haven't swung at it yet, have they? No. Uh, they can take it down. I'll help Aristide if he's got no help. All right. It's just hard for me to see on skeleton. the skeleton. Okay. Roll. Well, I just don't want him to get hit again. So, Mac, you got a two-week VIP badge out of that. Thanks hey, you. natural 20. There you go. All right. right on. Yeah, that's great. Uh, percentage dice coming up. 68. Edge 68. Massive critical. Three times. Yes. Okay. Nice. Okay. So roll three crits. Oh, percentages. Yeah, roll well. Yeah. Uh -huh. Three right. crit rolls. Okay, here comes the first. Fifty one. That is a triple. A fifty six. That is double, so that's five die five times. And, and a seventeen. Ear removed. That's double. <laughs> seven die eight. Plus, I think it's dead. Seven die eight plus one head. Yeah. I know so, it's dead. But yeah. It's destroyed yet. You like you <laughs> shattered it. Yeah, I mean, you, your sword just goes right through it, like, right through its head, like half. Yeah, I mean, just and just cut the <clears throat> yeah, and it just falls into. I'm pieces. not even rolling it. Just yeah. beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. So, that, that's a better hit than Garn's ever landed. Yeah, well, you had a nice crit there. I mean, uh, really, that was an <laughs> awesome. See that with that one, with that crit there, you do need to do this though, Mech. You can't do that twenty. You need to go and get the Tim loves a good critical head and put that out there uh, all those times, because that's what it's for there. See, there you go. There you go. Yes, you and to... and that would have been an average of thirty-two and a half points of damage. So there divide and half sixteen. It took with us with a nice cheer. Thank you, man. Really appreciate it. So we go to uh, we go now to Laura Lee. You can roll on the zombie, which you guys hit last round, I recall. Correct? Yes, you did. So you want to swing at that thing? You, uh, I'm hoping. <coughs> you want... No, no, this is a new. No, zombie. this is a new one. Yeah, we killed, we destroyed zombie. the I'm last sorry. one that yep. we faced. New zombie. Yep. Go ahead. I'm a class eight. Laura, uh, Laura Lee, make your attack roll, please. Amy, um, I'm sorry. I was uh, I was thinking about something. Okay, okay. Um, so I can use my hero points to improve my to hit roll. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Your regular one, sure. Yeah, definitely. Okay. <laughs> uh, so if I use one hero point and and I'm shooting my bow, does one apply to both arrows? Uh, no, it doesn't. But remember, you're engaged in melee combat. So if you if you move out and shoot your bow this round, they get an attack of that zombie gets an attack of opportunity on you because you're in melee combat with it. You okay. gotta get clear first. So, all right. Yep. Um, yeah, because she she just she destroyed the one that was in front of her. But but another one came in. Another one came in. Yeah. Okay. That's what happens. You get swarmed. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, then uh, she'll. Attack it with uh, long sword. Or long sword, yeah, and, and I'll leave what I have in mind right. for Zafnaf. Also, is there to help you too? So roll your attack, please. Okay, so long sword is plus one, plus one for the bless. <clears throat> plus two in your roll. And I rolled the sixteen, so plus two is eighteen. Yeah, die eight plus one. Damage. I'm gonna die eight. There it is. Mm -hmm. Uh, three. Zafnath, roll your attack. All right. I'm going to take my spear and attempt to help <laughs> yep. destroy this thing. <clears throat> Not even close. I rolled a four. Well, that's okay. And oh, hold on. Uh, we got Bless. That's plus two. Plus one. Spear. Oh, it's plus. Okay, so... Yeah, you, that need, you gets need, me to six, but that's not Barbarian close enough. Cleric, you, Barbarian Cleric on uh, Armor Class 8, you need a 12. Yeah, I'm not even close. Yep. Go, Matt, you're up. You're still hot, sneaking. Yeah, I'm going to, because these guys have come out, I'm going to cast Obscure Shadow to make sure I'm, I'm well <laughs> hidden. <laughs> uh, you can, and you, that's, you can move your six inches still. So 
I'm going to keep moving up mm-hmm. towards them. I'm um, trying to sneak around back behind. How's that? Perfect. Okay. Hey, Jay, I'm going to have to roll for that next game. No problem. I'll take over Sconce. All right. He's uh, down to 15 hit points. Yeah, he's I, used uh, I got one it. cure light. Okay. Thanks, everybody. It's been well, a pleasure man, and honor you playing with you. And, uh, been a great. Good Take luck. care. It was fun, George. Yeah, good, good luck, luck guys, team. gals. Good game. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Alrighty. So, yeah, he. Uh, I didn't want him to not play because I, uh, I knew he had uh, something, so I figured he'd stay in for the first three hours. All right, you are all done. Let me roll this, the zombie attacks here. The skeletons do not move at all. Like, they're staying defensive <laughs> on, for, the, for their uh, superiors. Swing on Lindara, that misses. Swing on uh, Aristide, that misses. Swing, swing on Zafnath, whose paper thin armor class of eight. Two. Oh my gosh, I missed. Oh my gosh, that was brutal. Three misses. Uh, and that's. She didn't. She just came out and blathered this round. She casts a spell on herself. Okay. And that was the Lady Knitch. <laughs> New round. Uh, can we knowledge Arcana or anything like that? Uh, was it a clerical spell? Uh, oh. uh, that we would recognize. Uh, pro- uh, similar to uh, protection from evil. She casts protection from good. <laughs> Very similar. Thank you, Aqua. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Roll for it, please. I think that means me. This is forty years of uh, forty years of gaming. So yeah, long time. Correct, everyone. You've all rolled initiative once. Yes. Yep. Well, it is my turn to roll a one. Let's see. It actually fell out of my dice tray. Fumble. Five. (laughs) Reroll. Oh, you kidding me? Tied my five. Yeah. All right. One. <laughs> I rolled a two. Oh, my God. <laughs> All righty. But guess what? Um, there are no skeletons. So I have nothing to start off with. Oh, all right. And the, the four skeletons in the back delay again and have not moved. And then uh, so it is your actions because zombies go last. So we start with Lindara. Three attacks. Nice. All right. <laughs> So what do I have to hit? Uh, I was in the middle of a fight with a zombie. Is that correct? You are, yes, and it's the second attack of rounds. So you get three swings. Okay. Yep. I've got a three, a natural twenty, and a sixteen. Two hits. Roll the critical hit in the second. You always hit that secondary hand. Roll man. those percentages. Yeah, roll those percentages. You always quit with that <laughs> secondary hand. It's my secret weapon. I got a fifty-five. Double. So uh, three dice, six, all plus three. Because you hit once with your primary. Three dice, six plus three, full damage. Let's see, that's five, uh, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven total, not dead. Uh, two attack round, Aristide, on that zombie you're fighting. All right, let's see. Hopefully I don't... You've done 11. Sink the axe plus. into somebody. So nine plus two plus seven. Bless us, Don. So a 12. Hits exactly. And second attack, another 12. It's ex- all right. So roll a two die eight, add 10. Uh, so 16 damage. Splat. <clears throat> was that a skeleton or a zombie? That was a zombie. So, Sirisha, I'm going to do you last. So, go, well, I'm going to Laurel Lee. You still have that zombie on you. Laurel Lee and Zafnaf are you engaged with it. Ladies first. Ladies first. Okay. Um, I know you want to get that bow out real bad. <laughs> I, I really want to get my bow out. <laughs> I know. Um, but she's got a, she's got an enemy right there. That in her zombie's face. like tr- clawing at you, you, both of you, and yeah. has not hit yet. So. Uh, she'll, she'll whack at it with her sword, try to take a mighty slash and put it back to its eternal rest once and for all. And what is that? Uh, another 16. Damage. So plus one day eight plus one. 
Nice. All right, so eight. Yeah, so that's a nine. Okay, it's still there, but Zaphnath gets a swing. All right. All he needs to do is hit. And I plunge my spear into the thing's neck. Ooh, uh, 14 plus two, so 16. Yes, die six plus two. Minimum damage of that will kill it automatically. So it's down. I rolled average, so yay. Down. Uh, Matt, Destroyed. Matt, you're like, how brazen are Teamwork. you going to go? There's six things back there. You're stand, You're here. You're hidden. Um, you're like, oh, what do I do? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna wait for a little bit. All right, so you can delay. Uh, no, I want to knit, so you can't delay. So you're you're just gonna stay put, correct? Staying put. Uh, this round? Uh, yeah, I'll you maybe want... shift over ten feet if I can. Yeah, but I'm not gonna get too close. There you go. Yeah, thanks. You think you're you think you're pretty well hidden. So uh, I got two zombie attacks. Zombie... You skip Searsha. Jay. Go for it, Sirsha. You're right. Go. All right, so I 10-foot me back towards that zombie. <clears throat> yep. Uh, that I think is attacking Lorelei, right? No, no, it's dead. Oh, what's there's who's zombie fighting on, that zombie? There's a zombie on Sconce, and there's a zombie on Lindara. That's it. Okay, I'm attacking the one on Sconce. All right, you got to... You, all right, and, yeah. Unless, Aristide, you cry out for healing, like, very badly, but uh, I haven't heard you. You probably want to do that because you're not with intent to swing this round anyway. So you probably I thought wanna... I could just 10-foot and get that zombie nah, right there. No, it's, it's 20, dude. It's 20. That's another fight over. You're helping Oh, because we're outdoors. Yeah, yeah. So, gotcha. You want to... All right. You want to do kill light on him? Yeah, just move me towards... Well, where's Aristide? He's, uh, Aristide's right next to you. You want to just go... Okay, well, put me behind him. And next to the zombie, round, and I will cure. Out. Absolutely. And I will cure him this round. Seven points. Awesome. Uh, to eighteen. Yep. Alrighty. <clears throat> Swing. I feel refreshed. <laughs> <laughs> Swing on uh, Lindara. Miss eight. Swing on Sconce. Who I'm. 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 Oh, I forgot Sconce's swing because uh, he's not here. So um, he hit. He also got hit back. Sconce straight up. He does. Um, he did six, and he got hit. Sconce for seven. He's down to eight hit points. All right. She says something, and uh, two of them on the outside start moving. The armored skeletons. Okay. That's all I have this round. Round is good. They're engaging us uh, martial arts style. <laughs> you have uh, you have a knit, please. I think everyone's gotten it. So uh, we um, so I'm gonna start with uh, I'm gonna start up top with a uh, Asher and just go around again, and make it easy. So go all ahead. right. Let's hope I don't get crushed like last time. Three. I don't feel good about that. Six. <laughs> uh, remember, zombies. Skeletons are moving. Delay back there. So uh, we're going to start with Lindauer. You still got that zombie on you. Two attack rounds. You're like, I got to kill it. <laughs> All right. I've got a uh, five and a 15. One hit in that secondary hand. Die six plus zero. Not a four. It had three left. Sconce, you have all right. So all three of these can attack that zombie if they so choose. Sconce, Aristide, and Sirsha. But I, I, I'm going to do a Sconce first, and then we'll do uh, then we'll do Sirsha next. Uh, Sconce hit, and he did five. Sirsha, what do you do? Uh, I hit armor class four, or I, I hit fourteen total Roll down. for three points of damage with okay. the longsword. What is uh, what is Aristide doing? Um, I will, is it swing once or twice? It's just once. probably it's once, right? Uh, I got a 19 plus Damage. three, so 22. Die eight plus five. Uh, nine points of damage. <laughs> Get that kill count up. More <laughs> Harley, you are up. Oh, okay. good. You have nothing on you right now until you yep, have this. Yeah, she's gonna take advantage of it. Um, how far away? What's the, what's the distance for her to shoot, um, Mrs. Knitch? 
Oh, 140. What range is that? I, um, I'll look on the sheet real quick. Uh, that is just at the edge of medium. You're plus one to hit at that range. Okay. Um, because I'm going to shoot two masterwork arrows at her. Okay. Her uh, class is seven, same as the skeleton. So. So the arrows will give her plus one. She's plus one for the range. Yep. And yep. plus one for the bless for a total of plus five. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. Because the bless is two more rounds left. This okay. Round the next round. So uh, you have, um, yeah. Okay. She needs uh, hero point. points. She only, she only needs a ten. That's, that's I'm going to use a hero point on the on the first arrow. So, so you need a nine on the first roll, a ten on the second, with all the modifiers. All right. So I rolled a another natural twenty. Nice. Oh yeah. Right. Roll your second attack, please. And uh, rolled a seven. All right, one hit. Roll the critical. Oh uh, yeah, seven plus five. No, uh, it, it's all. Um, it, it's it's. Pl I'm sorry. It's plus, um, three, four, right? Well, no, plus five, right? Because no, uh, you're plus one with on your table. It's medium range, right? You got that's, that's taking right. the one. One for the arrow. And one for the bless. Plus three. That's it. Okay. Because you didn't use a hero point there. That's right. Yep. Okay. Um. So yes, yeah, so that made it ten. Yep. And that missed. You needed twelve. I need a 12. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, need a roll, you need a 13. A I'm a class 7. You need a 13. Yep. My bad. Okay. So roll the critical. Nice. All right. Uh, 99. 99. Yeah. That better be good. <laughs> I hope so. It better not just be some double damage. It's triple damage. Yeah. I'll take triple damage. Three die six plus zero and then half it. Okay. Because of that skeleton. Oh, nice. I rolled uh, rolled uh, 13 total. 13 total That's half. Two. I'm going to round 13 total. I'm rounding that down half this time. I'm being mean. But that's okay. Uh, Zafnaf, you're last. All right. Well, we've got a skeleton approaching here. Yep. An armored skeleton. From yeah, I'm too far away to fight it. You can throw. You can move forward ten and throw your backup spear. Oh, let's do that. Yeah, you know, I'll throw my backup spear at it. My yeah. uh, cold biter spear. Yeah, absolutely. Does uh, cold affect the undead? Uh, it depends on the undead. So, uh, but you move forward here and throw it. So Either that's going to be uh, at medium range. So uh, roll, roll the hit. You never know. Never know. 16. 16 minus two plus one for the you hit. You hit nice. with it. Die six and the cold I believe works on them. Die six plus one. I rolled a five. All right, so you do the three. Uh, you did four points. Oh, I'll take it. You take that on on, a, on a, a skeleton. All right, and so my round, um, I do the zombies here. Oh man, now I wish they had more. Range. I wish they had more range spells now, but they're really kind of cheesy spellcasters. I have one there, I'm saving. So are there um, any zombies left? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, um, there's not. There is not. I'm sorry. So we got an engagement. Say, where are they? Uh, I already moved that. But <laughs> yeah, she, you already moved that. She, she says, she says, Junior. Oh, yeah. shit. Sick, sick that one. That shot me. It <laughs> <laughs> uh, moves pretty fast. Uh, it's got like crusty nails and as it comes out here. Oh, Junior, you're never going to get a date like that. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Junior comes out. Yeah, to paraphrase uh, a song from the, the, the time this game was out, Van Halen, have you seen Junior's grave? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up there, Josh? I haven't seen you in a long time, man. Wings Horizon, good to see you. All right, so there, that's where, uh, where we are. So Junior came out. Um, he steps up the slope here. She's uh, and they both these guards stay. So um, they better I, not have any more kids. What's that? They better not have any more kids. Well, you only know of Junior, right? You uh -huh. don't know what happened to him, but he's moving pretty fast, and he doesn't he doesn't look pleasant at all. And now we're on a new round for initiative, right? 
You guys haven't won. I would game. like to invoke the power of my ring, Jay. What's that? Oh yeah. Oh yes. You are. Uh, um. All right. So guess what? You're close enough to engage and swing at that this uh, this skeleton this round. So you're gonna first strike it. Good. There you go. So ro rolling it. Um, rolling it, Casey. We're going just going around to make it easy. Okay. Beat it two. So he's three. First. All right. So Lindara steps and swings. What are your attacks? Lindara first strike. I've got a eight and a twelve. This is the last round of the bless. Oh, oh, you missed that's that so blast. close in the front. You missed you, you missed twice. These are armor class six because of the armor. Yet yeah, they both missed. Uh oh. You're like, uh oh. Uh, now everyone else is clear right now as well. Skunts, um, he comes over to help you. He engages. He can't swing this round. Lin uh, Aristide, what do you do? Um. Do -do 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 -do. Who's the, I guess, the nearest bad guy? Well, you have a skeleton coming here, and Junior's running really fast here. All right, I will go over to that one that the skeleton you just pointed to. Okay. Searsha. Uh, same thing. I'll go engage the skeleton. Yeah, I was going to leave him for the barbarian cleric. That kind of helped. Now you can keep that bow out. <laughs> question, duration. Uh, Jay, question. I'm blessed. Last round, you said there were two rounds left. Yeah, that, this round that you round. said this is the last round. Yes, because that last round was fifth. I mean, I okay, so the it. round you cast it counts. If you're during initiative and they get attacks off of you, yes, right? Right. Uh, I, don't, I don't recall, but yeah, you're good. You're good. Do well, you... I'm just trying to keep track of it for my. Oh no! Did the uh, Tim asked did the Mongol boss show up? No, don't try casing nuts with the Mongols. So. so... Uh, um, so the bless is still in effect this round? Yes, or this is. round. Yes, it is. Okay. This I'm is actually, round six. I, I, yeah, I mean, I'm clear. I need to take advantage of this. I'm going to do the same thing I did the last round and fire two more masterwork um, arrows at uh, Mrs. Knitch. Go for it. Uh, and I'm going to... hero point. Achoo! She still has well, two... You have two regular hero points. Um... So, yeah, sure, I'll do that. Go for it. All right. All right, so I rolled a 16 for the first one. First one hits. And I rolled a 10 for the second one. All right, um, now, remember last round you rolled a 70, you missed, hard, you missed just barely. Uh, the 16 hits, uh, the 10, I forgot the protection from a good spell on her, so you're minus two off of that as well remember she cast protection for good on herself and you're good oh, okay her. so i think that second one that 10 misses uh, you, hit, you hit once roll okay. roll uh, roll damage die six plus zero halved die six plus zero oh, boy. i'll round up this time all right well i rolled a six all right three more points you've done equivalent of nine points of damage on her with all those hits, you've done 18, but you've done nine uh, in actuality. Um, Zafnath, so the two fire types cut in front, which is very nice of them for you. So you're clear. What would you like to do? There's still a zombie back over there. Or did no, zombies that get are all destroyed? gone. They're, the skeletons have come. All the zombies are dead. Well, we can have three on one, right? So sure. let's, Remember, uh, let's, make, let's finish coming. it up. Junior is coming. Yeah. I know Junior's coming. That's why I want to get rid of this guy. All right, so you engage. Remember, there was no swing. You're all with outside of 10 on that, and he can't swing. Oh, I'm outside of 10? Okay, I engage. Anymore. Yep. So, all right, my actions. I do have one swing. Wait, wait, right. real real quick. Uh, oh, Matt. We got Matt. Were any of the two combatants on our side wounded, seriously? <laughs> I don't believe so. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Didn't want to pass Laura, up a chance Laura, I might not have later. Laura Lee's undamaged. But um, Aristide's off three hit points. Yeah. Three hit points. Because I, I healed him he's... earlier. Okay. I, that's probably fine. Okay. Can I get yeah. position on Junior at all when he comes out? Junior, you, yeah. You Do you want to, like, um, so you you only moved 10 last round. I, I'm going to let you say last round that you, if you wanted to do that last round, you could have. But okay. remember, they're right here. I mean, so you want to try and follow behind him and stab him next round? Is that what you'd like to do? Yes. 
All right, so let me do the actions here. Swing, miss. You're like, mm. all right. Moves forward a little bit more this round. One guard goes with him. One guard stays back with him. Okay. There you go. So um, my actions are done. All righty. This is a pretty crucial initiative here. Whose role is it? Who won that last round? Uh, I won last round. Roll again, man. Okay. Uh-oh. Five. Three. <laughs> Not close enough. Well, Searsha, not close enough, but he's engaging you. All right. The skeleton here swings on the dwarf. A 15 hits. Does. <coughs> Thank you. Does six. So, Aristide, you're down to 12. The hey skeleton guys, Tim, on the other side swings the Lindara. 16. Tim is asking if anyone doesn't have any specials, so just Two reply points. in the chat. Two points on yeah, the... I don't have... Yeah, there's some specials left. Lindara, two points. We're down to 11. Let me see what we got here. So I got hit for six on that last one? Yes, yes, you did. You got max hit for that. Um, so, um, he delays and they all delay. Your actions. So we're going to start over Lindara. Three attacks. All right, here we go. I've got a 16, an 18, and a 1. Oh. Lindara, you have a special. Do you want to re-roll? Do you want to make that a fumble, not a fumble, with your special hero point? Yes, I do. Okay, so you roll your, your damage. 2 die 6 plus 3. That should be enough to take it out. Okay. 8 plus 3, 11. Yeah. Scott moves forward 10 and, and does his... his Cast bless in the nine rounds. Almost positive he has. Yeah, he has one bless left, right? Bless and the pure light left. Yeah. He has spell extension. He cast bless. Bless less nine rounds for him. All right. Sweet. Okay. We're gonna need it. All right. So next, Laurelly, you're clear. Oh, he okay. cast bless. Yes. Nice. For nine That's rounds. So. Mine, yeah. Mine was over, I think. Oh man, we're getting. Uh, let me see. We got a special going up, and how about a blue play for Prometheus? Prometheus, you got a special. Yes, from thank Tim. you very much. Yes, you Matt Shout Lane for this backstab attempt that may be coming up here. And Jay, you missed it, but earlier someone did 10k points. Tim did for me. Oh, Tim did. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so I'm at three hero points. Uh, no, um, you sure? Yeah, you are. Three, three regular, one special. All right. right. So Laurely, Laurely, you're clear. You All right. You can shoot again. Yeah, that's that's what she's going to do, especially yeah. now that she's got the bless back. So the bless, actually, the bless, um, the old bless is still on. This is the last um, round of it. Oh, no, okay. the bless is gone. <laughs> this is simultaneous. The bless is not on yet. Okay, it's not okay. on yet. He just cast it as you're shooting. He cast it. So, um, yeah, you you still can shoot. Okay. Use regulars, or you have two masterworks left, I believe. No, she's only got one masterwork left. Oh, okay. So so she's, yeah, because she used one on one of the zombies That's and she right. missed. That's right. Um, so she's got to use one of the regulars. So she'll shoot the masterwork first. So plus one for that, plus okay. one for the dis for for the bow, plus one for the bless gives her plus three. Minus two and, for production of good. So <laughs> plus one. Um, and then you have a special. Uh, and she has, yeah, she'll, she'll use her last special. Special is after the die is made. So if you miss by one, then you use it. Okay. Yep. So then the other one, then she'd be at minus two. Okay. Correct? No, it's same target. Mm -hmm. Same target. So it's the same. It's same on both. Oh, same on both? Uh -huh. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Uh, well, let's see how we do. Uh, she rolled a 19. Nice. You, want, you rolled 19 on a die? Why don't you make it a critical hit with your special? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. I'll do that. Okay, and then roll your second attack. Uh, <laughs> she rolled a two. Okay, uh, roll the critical hit. Let's see here, my, my percentiles. Woo. All right, this time she rolled forty-five. Another triple. 
Nice. Keep it up. All right. So three die six plus one. Yep. Actually, she's running there. He's running. Uh, okay. That's mediocre. Uh, rolled a total of eight plus one, so it'd be nine. Nine head. Round down four. That's what she had left. Oh, yeah, baby. So, nice. I think you're the only one that attacked her, so nice job, Amy. Yeah. Oh, yeah well, solid. Kept saying, remember who's the real power in town? Yeah. Yep. Aristide, go on the skeleton. It's armor class six because of the ar <clears throat> crappy armor it has on. So you need everyone needs 14s if you're a fighter on this uh, and 15 if you're a thief. One swing. He's up. <clears throat> What's up, Aristide? I was just saying, uh, who, who's, whose turn was it on? Aristide. Okay, so just one swing? Yeah, just one swing. New talk. Yeah, that's... I got a... Seven. Miss. Uh, I didn't exactly. miss my turn, did I? I was being invoked from the spirit realm to do something with printer paper. <laughs> so, Zap Knapp, what would you like to do? Is the skeleton's still there? Oh, yeah. yeah. Let's poke it. Well, 14 plus two from the bless and the spear, so 16. Yeah, bless is off, actually. This is around the bless is off. It comes back next round, but you still hit. So roll down. Okay. You hit exactly with a 15. You still have two special hero points and two regular hero points. I know. You could add the regular really You could add all the damage if you wanted. So. Yep. Well, um. You can add them to damage. Absolutely. You can add regular hero points. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's add my two regular hero points to this damage. There you go. Roll them up. Five. So. Five plus like, two, and then another plus two. Nine points here. I'll round up because you added them. So five. It's still there, but it's severely damaged. Seriously. Um, I am going to use one of my hero points to attack since we're not blessed this round. Yep. Go for it. So it's my own little blessing. I think I'm going to have to attack this idiot skeleton, not the sun. Go for it. Okay. I just clarified that. Yes, yes. That's what I was pointing up for, Tim. I have one. That's what I'm pointing up here. I've got a 16 for five damage. So just barely doing any damage so to the you did, you did just enough to, to, to shatter. Oh, it's oh, look oh at good. That. And still then still 10 foot me over in front of the idiot running towards my friends. All right, so you're going to put, yeah, you're going to go. Just, uh, I'm trying to block his path to, he yeah. was going for the archer. Yeah. Technically, you can't engage another as you're fighting. You don't understand what I'm saying? But that's. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see what you're but saying. But that's okay. Because Matt is going to go for the backstab now. I'm assuming. Yes, I am. On, the, on Junior the Ghoul. So, um, Ugh. The worst. So, real armor class of six. You need a base 15. You get plus four from sneaking from behind. Uh, the bless is not on. So, um, you need, uh, primary is, uh, you need a, uh, you're plus five to hit. Secondary, you are minus, you're plus two now instead of, because uh, you're minus two normally. Plus five, plus two. Any other modifiers you're going to use? You have three regular hero points. Yeah, I'm going to use use them all if I can. On the first swing, second swing, how do you want to use them? First swing. First swing. Going for the gusto on the first one. Roll the first attack. You're now plus eight to hit on your first swing. Good Nine. Hit. Nine. That so, hit just because you did that. <laughs> so you hit. Now roll your secondary attack. Only plus two. A nine again. Okay, you hit one time. Two dice, six, plus one. Um... Junior is probably not enough to get Junior down. So I rolled six on the dice. Six total and plus one, yeah. seven points you did. Junior is still moving at full speed toward the Laura Lee. The one well, that it's a, a backstab, so double damage? Y yes. Oh, you, you rolled that die again. Oh, oh, oh That's oh, why okay. he rolled the two dice. Oh, yeah, so sorry. Yeah, 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 I got it now. Yeah. I thought you rolled yeah. six on two dice. Good. Yeah, I did roll six on two, so that's right. All right, so you did seven plus one? Yeah. All right, seven yes. Plus. You got it. You got it. Boom. All right. You're done. Your round's over. Yes. Uh, nothing engaged. This, with all its fury, goes toward, goes to, to, to Searsha. Uh, this is the last round of my pride evil, if he attacks me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he went right, I'm sorry, he, I mean, he went right to Laurel Lee, the one that killed his mother. Uh, Are right. you ready? 
I, I, I hate to do this, but um, move forward 10, move forward 10. The Zombier on these three here cast sleep. Oh, uh oh. Now. Oh, hey, my Pride Evil still up, though. Now, I got to count the hit dice here. You have a two plus, a two plus, and a one plus. Zafnath is like, oh, Zafnath's automatic. <clears throat> oh, I didn't even get a save? No, there's no save on sleep. Oh, that's weak. <laughs> <laughs> Look what happened with all the rats. Would you have wanted 15 rat saves? <clears throat> That's why I always I always turn it. If I get a save, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I roll on a six sided die, a four, five, or six, it's both of them because you're not. Um, oh, third, roll percentile dice. Uh, um, oh yeah, I'm a half elf. You're a half elf. Well, if you roll zero one to thirty on the percentile dice, you are immune to it. So I want one to thirty magic resistance half elf, sixty five. It's one odd. I'll roll it out front. Odd, odd, it's Aristide even at Searsha. It's Aristide, you fall asleep. Oh, no. Good night. <laughs> I just knocked the whole fence over. Oh, oh you, our tank. Well, I suspect I'm just going to have to kick him awake this, this next round. This skeleton time. starts moving forward now that that one's dead over here. So, um, At least getting stabbed will probably wake us up. The only good thing about Junior running toward Laurel Lee is what? Out of everyone. Can't you get to keep around. stabbing him in the back. Well, well she's an elf, right? She's, right. she's a full-blooded elf. That was the only good thing. So, Paralyzation. Yep. So uh, uh, it just happened that way. Uh, no, he doesn't get a back. He's not, your backstabs have to surprise. Uh, because yeah. he's a thief, I'll give him a plus two from behind. But... Um, He's, he can't backstab again. Let's the see. backstabbing bonus, yeah. Yeah. There's so, no rear AC. Uh, yeah, the there monsters. is. It's six. The same as the front on a ghoul. Right? Hmm. Well, for it again, new round. I know I we got we time. got uh, we got 18 minutes before two people got to leave, so I'm just um, yep. I'm doing my yeah. Here we go. Someone rolling it. It's not my turn. Yes. Uh, who wants to go next? Yeah, Jeff. I was going five. Reroll. Unless you want to use a special, if you have one, no. That's a good uh, time I, to use. A special I, yeah, I have three hero points, Not so I the can regular, use one of them. Special. You have to be a special. Um, I don't think a, unless a ten k here gives you a no, special. A I think those that's just count. Yeah, no, I don't have any special. We will beat a four. Ah, uh, three. Okay. The ghoul junior attacks with fervor on Laura Lee. Uh, for, fortunately, she cannot be paralyzed by this. That's the only good thing. But I need elevens. At least that's something. Yeah, uh, actually, yeah, I, I need um, I need elevens, <clears throat> right? The bless, the bless is me. Uh, five miss, fifteen hit, two miss, only one hit, Ooh. and I did one point. Ugh. Okay. You're down to thirteen. Um, <clears throat> this skeleton it, it starts running toward Matt. Mm -hmm. Uh, our friend, uh, our friend, uh, Elder Kinich, the Zombier, gets to that range and Burning Breathe. Hands is... Yeah, I was going to say Breeze Fire or something. Burning Hands Searsha for an entire three whole points. And there's no dex save in one Nah, no, nah, it's automatic uh, on that, unless you have any fire resistance. Three whole stinking points. So, oh, I should have drank my potion of fire resistance. Yeah, for that, and you would have taken... Two or one, right? <laughs> for for that little chintzy thing. Like I said, these aren't these aren't very powerful mages. Well, uh, I would hope not. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. My round is done, so um, we will. Uh, Laura Lee, we'll start with you. You got the ghoul. You got Junior on you. Right. So at this point, I'm gonna have to switch to my uh, long sword. Yep. Uh, and uh, she will strike mightily at him. Junior, whose armor class is six. So you okay. need yeah uh, you need a base fourteen. We have the bless now. Bless is on now. Yep, bless is on. Uh, sword gives her plus one, so um, she needs a twelve then. Okay. Uh, nope, she rolled six. Matt, Shit. you're up. You, you can this round. You have a skeleton coming from behind you. Not a big deal. You still get a plus two uh, to attack the uh, ghoul if you so choose. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Two swings. Roll them up. Primary, 17. That hits secondary. 
Seven. Seven with pluses, and because uh, it's secondary hand, you're not very good at misses. Die six plus, um, plus uh, one again. You've done well, the all six. The uh, that's pretty good. You've done you've done uh, thirteen points on it. Still moving, Sirsha. What do you do? I mean, you could wake up one yeah, companion. Yeah, I need to kick the slumbering dwarf first. character right next to me. Yes. Get up! Get up! Get up! Uh. Yeah. Next what a miss! Oh. Next round, you can give up. So uh, uh, that is uh, that is it. New round, we go to uh, Dwayne. Roll the, the dice, please, for me. Initiative. Four. Three. You win. Finally. Oh, yes. you know what? I didn't do I didn't do Lindara or Sconce that round. Lindara, do you want to run over to this one? What would you like to do? My apologies, Lindara. Uh, which, what is that one? There, you got one of the skeleton guards coming. Yeah, I'll go after that one. Okay, you go after that one. Sconce, um, he's got one Cure Light Noon spell left. He's going to run and, and, and fight the ghoul. All right, so there we go. You guys want to knit. Lindara, you can swing first. Two swings. All right. I got a natural 20 and nice. a five. Nice. I'm sorry, on the second right hand? Five for the second one. All right, so roll the critical hit. All right. Yes, out of 15. 15 on the die roll, edged. Um, eye removed. You, you, you put your sword right through its eyeball socket and then uh, pull it out like in the Excalibur where the, the you, uh, you have an eyeball stuck on the ed, uh, end of your uh, short sword. Roll double damage. All right. Uh, what is that? A six sire? Two six sided dice plus three. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then have it. All of seven. Seven on the dice and then add three. Ten, have five. That is with the adding the oh, three. Oh, okay. All right, so it's it's still up. Uh, roll Laura Lee for the ghoul. Junior. That's so the sword. Sconce is helping you. Not really. He missed horribly. <laughs> okay. Is, is it Laura Lee's turn? Yes, you have the you have Junior on you. Who okay. really is angry that it can't paralyze you. <laughs> The only, the only character in the party can't paralyze. Right. Uh, sucks to be him. Uh, so I'll uh, strike at him again with my long sword. Yep. Back, back to the grave, you. Needs a 12 to hit. Uh, and, jeez. Oh, Roll another six. Missed. Matt, you can attack one, one last. You can attack again if you want and in that same spot and get the pluses on this ghoul. You've done all the damage on the ghoul. You could have okay. a solo ghoul kill in theory this round. Okay, I'm going for Go it. Go for it. Go for it, please. <laughs> 18. What are your secondary attack? 17. Both hit. Wow. Two die, six plus one. So six on the dice, plus one. Seven, Seven. points. It had three left. You, you solo killed that ghoul. Nice. <laughs> Good job. All right. Awesome. I'm going, um, so the dwarf can get up this round, which means you can only do defensive on yourself. You have to move 10. So uh, I don't, do you have anything defensive to do? I don't think you do. But at least you're awake, Aristide. I don't think you have anything you can really do this round. Nope. So you get up and you move closer to the zombie, I assume, at this point. Right? You want to no, go to the wake up the barbarian, dude. Yeah, I thought you were going to do that, right? No, I don't have to do all the waking. You're going to make the dwarf wake up the barbarian? <laughs> Hell yeah, I woke his ass up. <laughs> yes? Okay. Yeah. All right. So, it's a chain of waking up. So let's see. Did, what does the dwarf do uh, when Sirsha says, wake up the wake, uh, wake up uh, Zafnaf? Are you going to do that? You can, get uh, up and, you can get up and wake him up. Yeah. Uh, get up, get up, get up. Mm -hmm. All right, now you're seriously you're clear. Yeah. Uh, all right. So what's to my? You have right, the following. Is... There's three things left: skeleton guard, skeleton guard all the way across, and 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 elder Kinich the zombier. I'm gonna go engage Kinich. Yes. Uh, you do it. Alrighty. How long was I out? What day is this? Yes. <laughs> This is a we've, good we've day won. To kill. Good, day. good day to live. 
Okay, uh, uh, there's a 10k stars. in there. All right, uh, cool. Select. Uh, you gave it to. You gave it to. There's two elf ranger. Uh, the full elf ranger, Laura Lee. Laura Lee, you got a regular hero point. Oh, thank you. Yeah, from Select. So, thank you for telling me, man. I'm not looking as much as I normally do. Uh, or well, the mods. People need to highlight you when they do that. Yeah, but thank I you very much, it. Select Striker too. I got y'all covered, Twitch. Appreciate it. My turn. Lindara is engaged, engaged there, but it does its last spell. I got all these hero points and nothing to use them on. Yeah. I burned through most of mine. Zafnath, Zafnath, you have three special hero points. As Tim yeah, gave you another one. <laughs> Uh, Laurel, uh, so, uh, Sirisha, you get magic, the second magic missile, yeah, all right. uh, for the following amount of damage. Ooh, eight points. Ow. Ouch. That was yes. a bit much. Uh, I'll say this, uh, Elder Kinch recast a, a spell somehow. Recast that magic missile spell somehow. You're down Does to he have 13. a pearl of power in his hand? Ooh. <laughs> a very, very. If I'd have seen that, I would have tried to tackle it. <laughs> Uh, and the skeleton attacks Matt, guard. Um, and I missed with a six. Three left. Uh, you're, you, whoever won in it, roll it again. Okay. As we got eight minutes before two people got to leave. It's perfect. Perfect time. Four. Four. Two. You're up, Lindara. Roll your two attacks on the skeleton. No, you t Yeah, two attacks. Did you attack last round? Wait a minute. No, this is a new... Yeah, you did attack last round. I missed the attack on you. And it fumbled. Well, hold on one sec. 46. So the skeleton across the way fumbled. And... Uh, um, it automatically gets no attack this round now. So it's distracted. Well, you get an attack. And uh, Amy, you got a special now, too. Oh, so sweet. There you go. You got a regular and a special as, uh, as Tim keeps on popping them in. So, Lindau, roll your three attacks. The spirits speak to short us. Short sword primary, short sword secondary, short sword primary. I have a 17, a 13, and a 6. Seven, so it's eight. two hits. Nice. So two okay. dice, six plus three. Halved. Odds are good for you. Seven plus three is ten. Falls apart. Boom. Nice. Matt, you're in combat. Skeleton. Yep. Primary. Yep. 14. That hits. Secondary. No, wait, wait, wait. Plus one, plus that hits exactly because of the uh, bless. Yep, good. Secondary 13, so that's a miss. That's a miss. One die six yep. plus one halved. We're on the six. So, so. okay. Uh, Searsha. Uh, I'm going to use a hero point and attack this idiot. Yeah. Uh, Elder Knitch's armor class is six. All right. And so uh, you're going to use a, a regular hero point to yeah. hit. Roll it up. I got a 21 result. Roll damage? For, uh, not, uh, eight points of damage. Eight points on the on Elder Knitch. First damage on him. Now, the rest of you are all clear. So uh, you get up this round, but you can move your full movement, Aristide. You want to engage Elder Knitch this round? Run? Uh, yeah, and then in the Twitch chat, uh, looks like Pat sixty six put up ten k points. There you go. So that's for somebody. You didn't say anyone's yeah. particular, did he? You just Pat sixty six. Who do you want to get those? Well, I'm gonna. Does anyone completely out? Let me see. Lindara has none at all. I'm gonna give them to Lindara. Lindara, Lindara's no special. Yeah, uh, right. You were you were out. You have one regular now, Lindara. There you go. Zafnaf, you're getting up this round. That I absolutely Sc am. That leaves Sconce, and that leaves Laurel Lee. Sconce runs over because he's got a blunt weapon to help Matt, and Laurel Lee, you're clear. So there's okay. a skeleton left and a zombie left. They're both engaged. Okay. Um, so I'm just kind of looking at the map, trying to see where I am in relationship. Yeah. You're What's here, closer? and the two things that are fighting are right here. Now, okay. just, now, Casey has a question. Why do you use the word engaged? Think about this. Now you know why. She knows they're both in melee combat to shoot for shooting purposes. That okay. Means, yeah. Makes sense. 
It does. Yep. And Amy has a hero point now. The yeah, pattern Amy has a regular. Amy. Amy got a regular and a special. Yes, just recently she got them both. So yeah. Yeah. So I should have one of each, right? Yes, you do. Okay. So um. So, am I in a, Am I in a place where I can shoot at? The skeleton or at the zombie? Yeah, if you miss, you have to reroll to hit someone. They're both engaged. Right. You might hit one of us. You could hit Searsha if you miss. Or you could hit Matt because Scott's is still running forward. This is the same round. So you could either hit Matt if you shoot at that one. You could hit Searsha if you shoot at the other one. Okay. I'm not sure it makes sense for me to be shooting arrows and, and risk my compatriots exactly. when we're, we've are we got the bad guys on the ropes. So. Right. Um, I think uh, uh, she will. I think she's closest to the skeleton. Yes, so, um, it's... your sword and and I'm even going to say that you were close enough to swing this round. So roll. Okay. Drop, roll your long sword. You use either of your hero points. You, you use your regular or your. Or, or... So, uh, she's going to use her regular to in, to point. increase. Yep. Did you wait? A minute. Did you say she could use it for damage? Yeah, absolutely. If you hit. Has, does this skeleton have any damage? How does it look? Uh, Matt hit it once. Okay. Um, so she'll, yeah, she'll put her hero point into damage. Okay. Hopefully it, it won't go away if you miss, by the way. Okay. Okay. All right. So roll up, roll the hit. Okay. Uh, yeah, I probably missed. I rolled a five. She's got plus two. So that's a seven. Ro I don't Rogier know. says shoot anyway. See, if she would have shot, she would have missed and then she would have had to reroll. And Matt, yeah. uh, remember don't it's on rear crowd. armor class. It, it's not on their front. It's on their rear armor class. Right. And, uh, roll yeah, twenty again. Up. Roll twenty again, and and sh and, uh, and just so you would see what would happen. Uh, for the, oh, don't shot. do that. Let's go. Okay. We got. <laughs> we got a few minutes. Yeah, I don't need. Yeah. yeah. Who's up? Rounds over. Actually, uh, you guys won. So my sh my swing. Skeleton on Matt. Three misses. The zombier on Tirsha, and it says. The power is still here. Die swings at you. Five miss. My gosh. Roll for it. New round. Six. Five. Matt, roll your attack. Okay. Primary. Six. Miss. Secondary. Twenty. Critical Natural. hit. Roll the crit. Um, Lo um, Laura Lee, roll your attack while he's rolling the crit. We speed things up a little bit there. 85. 85 crit. That is uh, foot removed. So the thing falls, the roll double damage of uh, thing falls to the ground. Laura Lee, what'd you roll? I rolled a seven. Seven missed. Scott's hit and did six with his Warhammer. The thing rolled, rolled double damage there. It doesn't matter. That thing Eight. Is, yeah, it is dead. It is destroyed. We go to Searsha on, on the one, the boss is left. The main boss. I'm using my last hero point in addition. Go for it. Uh, 10 on the dice. That gives me a 14. That, um, whoa, that's like. Uh, it's armor class. It Thanks. hit exactly. Woohoo, for the hero point. Yeah. Uh, and I do a max nine damage. Wow. That's Rolled awesome. Do you want to apply, use your special to add one more to sure. the damage? Yeah, sure. It makes Let's it ten. Uh, go ahead, uh, go ahead, Aristide. It's on you at this point, right here. It's right All here. right. I'll, I have three regular hero points. Can I yes. use two for the attack and then one for damage? Yes, you can. Yeah, absolutely. What'd you roll? Uh nothing. It was a ten. That no, wait, a ten on the dice or ten total. Uh, it was a five on the dice. Oh, man. So you have one regular hero point left. All right. So that leaves. Lindara starts running all the way around here to get all the way over into the fight. Uh, Zafnath, what do you want to do? You're last. Engaged with something, aren't I? You, you, there's one thing left. You can come up You can come up on the boss there, on, on Elder Knitch. You want to do that? Yep. Didn't he wake up and move last round? No, he woke, no, he woke up He woke up and then got up, remember? Uh, there you go. You are in. You are engaged. All three of you swings at Searsha and and oh, an eighteen. I still haven't used a special hero point. I'm gonna going to Searsha four five more. You're down to eight hit points. Roll okay. for knit again. I'm using my special if I have to here uh, against the DM. Who's uh, who's in it? Is it? It's me. Okay. 
One. I rolled a three. I don't need to use it. Swings again on Searsha. Come on, come on, come on. You Searsha's down to eight hit points. She is. Ten, uh, missed. Damn. Excellent. Go ahead, Searsha. Roll your attack. Aristide, roll your two attacks. And then Zafnaf, roll your attack. Uh, 18. So armor class two Pits for Pits. seven points of damage. Okay, roll your two swings. 15. I'm going to use a special and make it a 20. That's a critical. I'm using nice. for damage. Go. Roll Kill up. It. You got two attacks. First attack, uh, 15 plus whatever my bonuses were. Right, 17, 18. So 18 and um, second was a miss. Okay, roll the damage by 8 plus 5. And then roll, what's, what's your critical hit, Zafna? 88. 88 missile thrusting. Uh, 10, 10 damage. Triple. Ten so, damage from Aristide. Three six plus two. Got it. Let me just tell you what it's at at the end. Uh, fourteen plus whatever plus, plus two the spear bonuses or whatever plus two plus. So it's it's okay. six, just damage sixteen. So you're all right. It had three hit points. When the round ends, it's at negative. <sighs> it's at negative thirty-three. <laughs> <laughs> With all those hits, and it gets quiet all of a sudden, and uh, um. It's like, so um, I know a couple people have to go, so I will uh, synopsize what happens. Yeah. You go, you, you, um, did anyone, I don't think anyone has to detect magic, right? I could take it in the morning. We well, come what back. I'll do is this. I'll say Sconce's last cure lights to detect magic. So he casts it and I'll tell you what radiates magic on them. Inside the crypt, you find um, a black gem. All right, it kind of pulses and radiates some kind of magic, and you get a real, all of you get a really bad feeling about it. So uh, this is the Kanich family heirloom. It's like an heirloom, you don't know what, of some kind of evil power. That sounds like we smash it. Is that agreed on the party to smash that? Um, we could be releasing something. Um, okay. I think it's probably better if we take this and arrange to give it to somebody who actually has experience with these kinds of items to to neutralize it is it mounted in something or is it it's it, it's 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 in like a um you know it's on display in the middle of the mausoleum i said smash it How about smash. You, i'm gonna take a group vote my gaseous form potion excuse me <laughs> <laughs> blue box that was awesome last night wasn't it <laughs> Oh my god, that was so damn funny. That was so hysterical. Just think of all the fun I'm gonna have. I, with that. I, I think we just smash it, Jay. All right, so uh, yeah, so smash yeah, it. So uh, Laura Lee says don't, and everyone else says d do. So Sconce takes his warhammer, says uh, majority majority rules. Takes his warhammer and <laughs> one swing, and and comes down upon it, crushing it and breaking it, and you you get like this feeling that this evil uh, sentience is dissipated off and then uh what's weird is outside you hear uh, you hear way in the distance a cricket noise that you didn't hear before hmm. like like you know like you'd hear at nighttime right yeah the animals are, re are returning yes and you're like ah oh, that feels wonderful so here's the following items all right um off of uh, for the entire for the thing uh, you find inside of uh, a bag with four gems times 25 gold right and then you also find another 65 gold within within the uh within the uh, uh mausoleum you also find um four potion bottles you also find a really wrapped up a really nice short sword and you find a cloak and a ring all right all uh, the cloak was on the zombire, the ring was on the skelter. Right? There okay. You, there you go. Oh, I killed the skelter. I'd like to have the ring. <laughs> of course. Uh, all right. So uh, when you detect the ring, detects magic. The cloak detects magic. All four potions detect magic. The short sword detects magic. When you go back into town, Elder Veru gives you a, a battle axe. It's masterwork. So it doesn't radiate magic, but it's plus one to hit. So there you go. Um, so you can decide how you want to divide that up. 
for the group. It's a one shot, right? The, it's a one uh, shot, home... but if you want to keep your characters and use them for future, and you, you decide. Well, aren't you want... these your home gamers? Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, but uh, I'm not going to write them on their sheets. If you, uh, you all have your own sheets, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I'll take the short sword. Yes, yeah, so, no uh, you now have a magical short sword in each hand. Laura Lee, you have a ring of protection plus one. Do the battle axe. Um, yes, you have a masterwork battle axe, which adds plus one to hit. Um, the money gets divided up evenly, so let's say uh, one hundred. Just give me one of the potions and give the barbarian the cloak, since he's not. Yeah, that armor. sounds like a the winner. Cloak is a plus one cloak of, of deflection. Adds one to your armor class in all spots. Perfect. So sounds uh, like a winner. What yes. are the four potions, Jay? Uh, uh elixir potions. of youth, right. uh, heroism. A vitality and an extra healing. I'll take the extra healing so I can shove it down someone's throat if they need it. There you go. Here. Vitality is a very powerful potion, by the way. So is heroism. Heroism should go to a fighter or something. I'll take the, All right. I'll there do you that go. heroism. There you I already one. The, vitality, uh, the vitality potion um, Sconce will take because uh, uh, that is uh, makes you immune to poisons and, and, uh, and a lot of other uh, things. So he takes that. The Elixir of Youth. Who wants to take that? <laughs> I will take that, even though I'm very... Uh, I'll take it anyway. Well, go. maybe the Vitality for the Rat Bite, maybe she should drink that. Yes, uh, but um, I'm oh. going to say the following. I'm going to say that um, uh, his uh, Lindara's money that she's going to get is going to go to the healing of this using the, the salves, okay? Cause, okay. Yeah, because she was, she was infected with a, a disease, so she has to get that cured. Alrighty, so uh, I think that's. Did I miss anything? I think that's all the items except for coinage. Let me just add this up. Uh, so everyone gets. Uh, everyone would get twelve silver pieces. All right, and it's with the uh, you may have a little left over here, uh, Lindara. Let me see this one. One sixty-five. One sixty-five uh, by seven. Uh, I'm doing this in my head. Everyone gets twenty-six gold. Uh, so uh, Lindara, you get one gold piece. <laughs> all right, and I've got. The <laughs> And I've got the potion of longevity, right? Yeah, it's at, yeah, it's at, it's actually uh, you may already have a potion in your yeah. You have a longevity already? No. Yeah, it's it's youth. It's elixir it's of youth. Potion. There's a big yeah. difference. The elixir of youth that only does two to five years, but it can never okay. bounce back on you like an, a, a longevity it can never undo undo itself. So nice. Yes. So, Jay, uh, thank you very much. I know two of you have to depart. Asher and I have got to run. The rest of you. Yeah, have... this has been a lot of fun, guys. Yeah, Excellent. The rest yeah, of you. Yeah, absolutely. So, <laughs> Great meeting y'all. Anyone who can hang, please hang a little bit because we want to make sure we raid in the blue box as, as full as possible. Yes. Oh, please... and do the drawing. Yeah, so we're going to do the drawing. So please hang in there, okay? Uh, the two of you have to depart. Please depart. That's fine. Yeah. Casey, I'll see you tonight for the show. Yes, sir. What time are you starting that? We're starting... It's at 7, so I'd like to have you on by 645. Uh, not uh, my game starts at three. It's gonna go to seven. Just and, and whenever you get on, whenever you get on. Yeah. Alan okay. Groy's gonna be a little late too, so. Um, right. I'll yeah. I'll jump in when I can. <laughs> All right, and see and thanks again to everybody who who um cheers for hero points. Boy, that really made a difference for us. Yes, I think. It yes, it did. That was huge. We had a lot. Uh, we had we had a um wow. We we gave out a lot. We had some participation. I hope you enjoyed a little taste of uh my campaign and what we my friends and I have been doing for all these years. Um, hopefully, you had a, thank you, Anne. Thank you for, for that. Um, oh, it was awesome. Yeah, cool. Sure. You know, um, it's just. Uh, it's nice but, sometimes to play with other people and get yeah, uh, you know, a taste of somebody else's gaming style and um you know different, fresh perspective new ideas so i i really enjoyed the opportunity to do this fantastic uh, i really appreciate the compliments so uh jo josh winged horizon who's on uh, he actually i dm for him at gen con a year and a half ago or whenever it was in the greyhawk house so uh that was a fun time too i did horror in the holes and i heard i talked to uh I talked to Amanda, um, Carlos's wife, and they're looking to, beginning of the year, they're looking to publish that module that Carlos and I did, my half and Carlos's half. So I'm really excited about that. We're getting, finally going to get that published uh, for everyone. Uh, really, a really great, uh, cool adventure. We each have our own little twists on our parts. Uh, that's a cool thing. So, yeah, Josh, very cool. All right, so I'm going to close this out unless anyone else wants to join in. And then let's just we want to we want to give Blue Box the biggest cheer. Uh, uh, um, so please hang out. We want to give them the biggest raid possible. 
So uh, can someone check if they're up yet? Because sometimes mine doesn't update. They should be up at any minute. They start at 3, 3 Eastern. It's 2.55. So, yeah, cool, Asher. That's perfect. <clears throat> Person. Yes, you had, uh, uh, Josh, you had that uh, Inquisitor, if I recall cor correctly, from that adventure. So, very, very cool. Yeah, it shows up, it looks like. They, oh, they just went up. Okay. So, just went up. beautiful. All right. Uh, I'm going to close this out. Here's what you get. The winner, uh, it's one, one pop drawing to, for this. Blue Box is going to have at least two more drawings. Uh, and then uh, tonight we'll have a bunch of drawings, too. And Wally Hobbits will have a drawing, at least one drawing as well. All right. The High Seas Horror Pirate Color Set from Reaper Miniatures. Uh, if you win this, please uh, message me uh, with your name and address if I don't already have it. So, really a cool set. This is limited edition, the Brian win. So, um, I'm going to close this out and see who wins this. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Closing this out. Dun, 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 dun. Perfect timing. Now I just got to haul this equipment upstairs. No big deal. <laughs> all my, uh, all my uh, computer equipment. Uh, at least I got to keep it. That was a great thing about running it this morning. I was like, oh, I can just leave it all in the basement from last night. Uh, all right. I'm closing out this. Uh, um, let's see if this closes on like last night. Entries are. Yeah, uh, Big Mac, though, I can read in while that clock is ticking as long as it's it's good still. And they get credit, get all credit for it. Uh, uh, yeah. So, all right, here we go. The winner of this is Prometheus. Oh, I won. <laughs> oh my hey. gosh! Awesome. You're on a roll, man. That is that fantastic, man. That is awesome. Grats. And thank Makes you. up for that. Axe I put in your chest earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a great game. What a great game. All right, we'll wait, we'll wait a minute and a half. We're gonna wait a minute and a half. Wow, we got a lot of people on too. So I'm, I'm looking to see uh yes. Yeah, so um Pat, are they waiting for the raid pat to go on live? I imagine they're talking in the background. Pat's probably watching both. Did they want me to come in right now, Pat? Pat 66, they want me to come in? Okay, all right. All right, so uh, thank you all for a great game. Hope oh, you're... thanks for having me. It was awesome. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, what spectacular. A what a pleasure. To, uh, you know, keep on, uh, like I said, please, everyone in the community, uh, this has been such a great three days. Hopefully you're enjoying uh, Grey Alcon. Let's hopefully this really pushes the community forward and get a lot. We get a lot more participation. Really excited and uh, uh, for uh, the future. So um, I'm gonna hit this button. I hit the right one this time. Tonight, Grey Alcon asks the experts. Be there. Be square. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Open questions about Grey <laughs> We're gonna take open questions and I'm gonna let the experts answer them. <laughs> Setting up the raid. I gotta remember, I had a question for for Leonard, and I keep forgetting to ask him. Oh! Piling up. Let's pile up some numbers here. Let's get it over 60. Oh, that. Oh, look at that. 75, 77. Oh, that's that's awesome. All right, here we go. 78, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. See it. Hey, thanks again. Yeah, that was, nice that was awesome. Yeah, that was that was great. So uh, much fun. Yeah, yeah. Man, you know what? I don't want to sound like a. It's such a shame, like that. You know, I don't know five these words out and all, but it's just like you know, Carlos is old school. I'm old school, and that's about it, right? You know, it's kind of a shame, but um. I just, I love, I love that there's so many, you know, you got a lot of Pathfinder players out there, which is cool. Um, just, but I, I just, we, we've never gone off of the way we play. We tweaked it a lot, but we just, uh, let me shut this off. I, I mean, I, this is the first 1E game I've played. Well, that's not true. I played a 1E game at Gen Con two years ago, or not.